months. Um, I didn't get to play too long, though, because there was some sort of server error going on. It wouldn't let me actually play the game. Kind of, like, kicked me out and wouldn't let me play again. Decided to cut it off a little short. I'm um, going to try to make up for that tonight by playing um, quite a bit more. We'll see, depending on how the night goes. Trying to do solo survivor, as fun as that always is. So, we'll see how that goes. We're going to start getting some matches. I feel like the first one always takes forever to get. And then after that, it's kind of back to back to back a little bit quicker. Don't know what the deal is with that. But it's still spoopy season. And I actually had a lot of fun playing this. So we're going to keep playing it. And I felt bad for cutting it short last time. So we'll do that. I don't have any blood points to spend. Uh, what's my loadout like? I don't have an item. I guess some self-care aid thing would be great. Trying to play this guy as like the mate, like the uh, the cleric healer teammate, but we'll see. Generally, I get a little too scared to help out my fellow team, so we'll see how that goes. Because uh, he has a, like a lot of bonuses, I guess, for um, helping others, like getting them off hook, healing them, blah blah blah. So we're gonna go like team cleric BS here. And see how that goes. I feel like healing in Dead by Daylight is kind of like healing in D&D. Where it's like, you kind of wish it would do a little bit more, a little quicker. But it's still it's still needed. So we'll see how tonight goes. I still also have a ton of coffee to drink. I don't really drink coffee too often. But I made like a bunch of it. And I figured I would drink it. Do I have any add-ons? Slightly increases healing speed. Sounds great. Let's do that. What else? I've never seen some of these other items, so we'll see. Yeah, it's always the first match that takes so long to find. These are the characters that I do have. I think these are the only two purchased. One is the Cheryl. And I don't, I don't know how I feel about Cheryl. I wish somebody else would tell me how to play Cheryl. Like, what is the go-to for Cheryl? Because I feel like... Cheryl, Cheryl's like meant to be like aggroed and like try to like get the killer to follow her and stuff like that. So I never understood. I know there's a way to like block um, the generator. And I think that is that just to like block the killer from kicking? Because if it's blocked, you can't work on it. So I get really confused about how her setup is. Like I'm sort of learning uh, the executioner and kind of how he runs. But the survivors are kind of random. I think... I mentioned last time I played Dwight a lot, um, but that's only because his, like, ability with, like, the more people working on a single generator, the better. So if you just spam rush with, like, low-level Dwights on, like, a single generator, it goes relatively quickly. That's the only meta or strategy I've ever seen <laughs> that I've ever used is, like, spam rush generator with Dwights. Let's go. It's also a little um, early for Dead by Daylight. I find that once you get to like midnight, that's when a lot of people start um, playing more. At least survivor-wise. So I'm not sure. Oh, looks like we got a match. Nice. We have one Meg Thomas. I don't think I want to ready up Meg Thomas. I don't think I want to do that. Oh boy. Oh, see? See, there's no point in writing up that early. And we got... They didn't come in together, so we know we've got three solos right now. Fangmen. Or, or Fongmen. I don't know how to pronounce any of these people's name. Even the easy ones. There we go. We'll ready up on that. It's like, it's hard enough, it's like if you're going to wait, like, however long the wait time is for Dead by Daylight servers as a survivor, why would you want to get into a match with only two survivors and a killer, and then have the game end in like a few seconds anyways? Never really made sense to me. It's like, why not just wait that much longer? Ooh, Ghastly Gateau. I think, isn't that a killer thing? Like, you get like more points as a killer? I'm not sure. I didn't get to read it fully. Alright, I also have to get into the mindset of Dead by Daylight. I was just playing Resident Evil Revelations 1 again, and that handles quite differently. 
We did get to do some killer looping, though, in uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1, so that's fun. One of the bosses just looping through windows. Hmm. It's taking a little bit to load that last bit in. Always kind of gets me nervous. Coffee. So yeah, I'm going to try to play for a while. If I start to get, like, if the community gets a little too toxic um, on Survivor, I might just switch to Killer after. Well, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it filled in. We're just kind of stuck at the 99% the mark. The thing is, at least I like the movement in the loading screen because you know versus frozen versus just stuck. So it's probably just like a server issue. As much as I love Dead by Daylight, the waiting time is crazy. And the servers are... S it's like Russian roulette. Like at this point, I would assume I should be in by now, but... Alright, there we go. So let's try to get... The goal is to get a single generator done in a match. That is the level that I'm playing at. Also, I forgot to change the lighting. So if you watched the last stream of Dead by Daylight, I had some really bad RNG with and bad skills of running into the killer right off the bat. Well, we got a disconnect already, so yeah. It's definitely a... Oh, it's one of these guys, too. Well, we have a disconnect. I don't know if they disconnected because they saw the killer or if they disconnected for other reasons. So bad. I, I, can't, I couldn't even tell you which one it is because I don't play against this killer often. The goal is at this point to survive. I'm just going to try to loop around random crap so he can't get the... I think it's like a one-hit knockdown. I also don't want to sandbag my, my teammates at this point either. Because it's pretty early and we have a disconnect. Also, tunneling pretty hard. But I guess it's kind of one of those things where you have a disconnect, it's an easy win. Yeah, I'm going to get chased again right off the bat. I have a self-heal medkit, so I could probably do that. Yeah, I gotta change the lighting. I can't see it. I have a light in the background to, like, focus kinda towards me to help with the lighting of the face, but, uh, most of the time on, like, these dark games, all it does is, uh, that was so, that was so bad. Uh, most of the time, all it does is just, like, make it harder for me to see on dark games. If this doesn't fully heal me, really? Interesting. I thought medkits, even on greys, were allowed to full heal. Maybe it's because I messed up that one. Also, I don't know what the other teammates are doing. I'm hoping they're trying to work on gems. That's okay. We got one disconnect. Really not going for much on this one. Kind of like Among Us, uh, which is just going to sound weird, but kind of like Among Us, the community is like pretty, pretty split. So it, the later you play, I think the better it is, because I feel like less and less toxic people are on. That and like... I hate to say this, but like most of the like younger kids that kind of just troll for a living um, are usually to bed at that point. Alright, so that was across the map, so I'm at least hopefully going to get this one generator fixed, and we'll call it a win. <laughs> we'll call it a win with a disconnect if I get a generator done. It is taking me a while, though. And you could just like run straight to here. Feeling pretty good about this. If I can get this one done, let me have this one. Let me have this one! I did it! I did it! I did it, guys! I got one generator done. That's fine. So this isn't Leatherface. I don't remember, is this... I don't remember what they're called. There's like... There's like leather, leather face and there's like 
Bubba or Bobo or some crap? I don't remember what his name is. He put me into his spicy basement. But the joke's on him. I got a generator done before he hit me at the last second. It's the highlight of the night right there. That's as good as it's gonna get, guys. I don't know where the teammates are. I don't have their auras. I'll try to switch up the lighting in between um, rounds, though, or something. I don't know what the options are. I feel like there's not... There's a lot of options, but I feel like most of them are not that important, actually, in this game. I think the main things that matter to me are having multiple options for audio for different things, and then also, like, lighting effects. Oh, he's... I hear the heartbeat. I don't think my teammates are going to be able to get to me. I think I'm going to get one hooked on this one. Yep. And I forgot to switch my space bar. So now we just space. Yeah, the struggle is real in this one. The thing is, I don't know. Oh! You beautiful bastards. Don't heal me. Just run. I can't see anything. I actually can't see how to get out of basement. It's so bright. Oh my gosh, I, I literally cannot see anything. It's so blinding. Where is out? Well, this shouldn't out. What is going on? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I definitely need to change the lighting and might be able to turn off the light. We shall see. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it, buddy. Is he even chasing me? Oh, he's next to my partner. Here, I'll take a hit for my partner. I'm gonna die anyways. Come on, he already hooked me once. Let's go, buddy. Oh, he... Oh, okay. That's fine. He knew I was going to pallet him anyway, so I figured I'd take the hit for my teammates while they do things, but it looks like they just wanted to hang around me for a while. Oh, I thought I only got hooked. Maybe because it was I was already in the struggle state. Well, while we're dying, let's see if we can change the light. So there's going to be a dark warning? Is that too dark? It's a little dark. That's, that's a little dark. So we might have to go back. So let's continue. Let's see what we got, who we were working with. So we had a disconnect. Oh, I lost my item. Got some experience, why not? So the killer was a rank 20 with no perks. The disconnect was a console player at rank 20. And the two teammates that I had were pretty high rank. So that is what it is. Let's continue. Let's try to go to settings real quick. After the loading, of course. So let's go to settings. Um, let's see, quality, that's fine. I'm looking for... Is there no... No lighting s setting or no gamma? I mean, there's resolution, but... Huh. All right, so we're just going to go with we're going to go with the light and maybe try to just point it up higher. Why not? Now that I just completely blinded myself even more. Seems good. Yeah, this game, I guess it would be unfair advantage to have different lightings, but oh, I feel like if you can add a gamma or change the lighting on your your screen, it shouldn't matter. Looks like that helped a little bit. It's bright enough to light me up. I just feel like without the light I'm so dark washed. It looks like I'm playing like a basement. Like those old like reaction videos to horror horror games on YouTube. Let's look at the blood well. Let's try to level up this boy. Deja vu. Don't know what that does but we're gonna unlock it anyways. Sounds great. Level 9. We need one more but I, I definitely don't have enough. So let's look at what Deja Vu does. 
what do deja vu do? All right, let's see. So it's deja vu two. Uh, bu -bu -bu, paranoia paired with horror, blah, blah, blah. Give me the real information. The auras of three generators which are in close proximity to one another are revealed to you for 45 seconds. At the start of match, each time a generator is completed, if you are holding a map that can track generators, generators real are added. Okay. So I've never seen the map, so I don't know what that's about. But I guess it would be good to have. But, like, I already have... You see generator auras within 32 meters. Anytime a generator is completed, it's disabled only for 18 seconds. But if I'm close to a generator, I can see the generator. So why would I need to see generators that are close to each other for 45 seconds? At the start of the match, and when a gen... Okay, so when a generator is completed, you could see three close um, other generators on the map that are highlighted... And at the beginning. So I guess that's okay, but I feel like the visionary is just kind of better. And then desperate measures for the team. The team stuff, I guess. So I guess we'll just keep looking at this for a little bit. When you rescue a survivor from a hook, gain 100% speed increase while healing. What does this do? At once, but because isn't this... Okay, so this isn't just right after I pull. This is for every dying state and uh, injured or hooked player at at the time. Okay. That's not bad. 50% additional blood points. 30% bonus action speed when healing and hooking other survivors. Really? The aura of... Wait. One at least... Oh, okay, when one exit gate is open. So this is only an end of the game thing. Okay. One for a depleted item will refill. I guess that's okay. I feel like they give items to you enough that I don't really care for the 30% chargeback. I mean, I guess. I guess it depends on how you play. You running it is light and making you track. It's harder to follow. Scratch marks stay visible one second less. I feel like the high levels of that would be great, but I feel like there's so many perks that help with tracking anyways. Let's see, what does this do? Uh, great skill check success zones when repairing, healing, and sabotaging. Oh, so 10% bigger when injured. That's kind of if you're hurt thing. So I guess the perks I have are fine now. I guess if I was going to do anything, it would be... I guess it would be we'll make it. Because if I have bonuses to unhooking and healing, I guess that would help. Not sure. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So flood web, that's fine. Load out. I guess we can pick another add-on. Let's let's do that. Let's see. Mundane sponge to soak up extra blood, providing easier access to wounds. And considerably increases progression bonus for succeeding a great skill check. That's fine. A pack of bandages of uh, adds eight charges to the med kit. I don't know what it means by the charges, because like it's a bar. So I'm not sure. Slightly increase the healing speed and stacks with other items. That's good. We'll see. So, let's see. We got Claudette, Jake, and Meg Thomas. We got... Does it tell you anything about the people? Or, oh, no, it doesn't. You can only really find out after the match. I guess that's um, to prevent people from trying to leave if they like get in a lobby filled with like lower ranks so that they have to wait until after to see like garbage players like me <laughs> okay I like the little hints I like the little hints at the bottom they don't explain enough but they do explain some things I also like when they kind of tell what the killer is it makes it Makes it easier to start, obviously. So we're hitting 11 o'clock. That's not bad. It's hanging up a lot in the loading, which is weird. Not too much. The last one was a long time, though. Now, I've noticed some weird things with uh, watching some of the streamers. There's some weird things going on with uh, some of the controls and moves. Oh, right next to a generator. Let's go. I don't know this map very well. Let's let's do this though.
Yeah, I don't know how the spawns work. I know there's certain, like, tokens and offerings that you can add that... Oh, I keep forgetting those. Um, that you can add to, like, change spawn locations of enemies and teammates. Probably it's gonna be some, like, invisible character. I'm gonna just drag me off of this one. Alright, that's fine. My worst fear if it's a it's a low like a sneaking character, I always get jump scared. At least once, like if it's um, if it's ghost face, if it's pig, if it's I don't know what other ones are really creepy like that. I guess I haven't played against uh, Michael Myers. I feel like he's not as bad as the other ones for scare, but like 30% of the time I just don't even notice he's there, which is kind of his job, and then I get killed immediately. So I got one of the edge ones. I do want to go for the center. I always hate leaving the center ones. Alright, someone got hit already. Oh my gosh. I thought it was closer to being finished. I didn't get to see where my teammate got hit though. Alright, so it's a win for us guys. We got one generator done. Gonna try to be a little calmer. I don't know who it is. They got hit, so it wasn't a one-hit kill. Oh, I, oof. I want to touch that skull. I want to break that down. But I guess there's no reason to do it unless they have the that. I think there's like a perk that says if no skulls were like taken down, blah 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 happens. It's not going. Terrible. I mean, anything could change really easy. I'm just hoping my other teammates are distracting him or her or whatever it is. Well, let's keep the gender the gender rules uh, nice for the killers. All right, where did you go down though? All the way over there. All right, perfect. As much as I don't want you to get hooked, buddy, I'm sure you got tunneled for a while. Oh, that's like on the opposite end of the map. still have no indication of who it is, though. Ooh, that kind of jumped there. But if I can get this middle one done, I'll feel so much better. Oh, wow, another one's done. Now we can do some trading. We can definitely do some trading now. I hope someone helps that person off a of hook. I think that's kind of my job, but they are at the other end of the map. Okay, they got unhooked. It was beautiful. More bones that aren't lit up. I don't know what the deal is with that. Do not know how it works. I know they're kind of related to perks, and if you cleanse them, the perks go away. Or at least whatever perk you uh, cleanse. I'll try to make them angry. I know there's, I think there's perks that also help you see if someone cleanses a perk as well. Or um, a totem. Oh, that was like a one hit down, wasn't it? So maybe it is one of those killers? Unless it's like Oni or Jason, or I don't know if Jason can one shot after maxing out. And they hooked in the same spot again. Alright, so there's two totems cleansed, so... For no reason, I know someone's probably really mad because it's not lit up, but... I have no idea what's going on with the team, though. Oh, shut up. More? More bones? More totems? It looks like the, the team is healing each other, so that's good. Oh, double down. It must have been um, an exchange there. The question is, is that worth it? Three totems cleansed. Don't know if that's actually doing anything besides giving me blood points. Oh, hey, let's not. Oh, it's Huntress? Is that what it is? That would explain some things. Okay. 
I also don't understand the um, the sound or the music. Oh, fuck. Come on, move the ore away. Why would you give up? Uh, they either slipped their finger or they gave up even though it was right next to them. So the thing is, I don't know if we can win this because our teammates aren't working together for generator. It seems they're just kind of doing whatever now. Oh, okay, never mind. I spoke way too soon. Are they really gonna camp? <laughs> I mean, I guess they kind of have to. I really think she should go for the other door. I'm so dead. She keeps like camping. Yeah, this is a, a little BS, but I guess that's kind of what the, the killer had to do. And they got a kill, but apparently they're trying to go a little hard. Oh, I'm getting stuck on crap because my sensitivity. Yeah, this is gonna be an asshole. They're really mad that they couldn't get more than a kill. But like the fact that she was she was camping the opposite door that I happen to be going to. Like, that kinda really sucks. But it is what it is. Oh, you're not even gonna give it to me. That's fair. I mean I'm only one hooked. I'm kinda hoping the teammates just kinda leave. Because I'm not gonna be able to outrun and get back to the area. But, like, she's going to be camping the door and the body, which is a little BS. But it's kind of like what you have to do at that point. Thing is, I've already been hooked, so I don't want to be double hooked. How do you get out of here? Well, I'm also really itchy. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in time. Yeah, if she gets one hit on me, I'm screwed. Seriously, ah, oh, what an ass. Let me do it. Let me do it. Wow, couldn't let me have it. And I'm double hooked too, so I think I go straight into trouble at this point. Yeah, there's no time anyways. I guess I can just try to... Uh, what a champ, what a champ trying to save it. There wasn't enough time, but what a champ. It's like, one part of me is like, oh man, couldn't have given it to us. And the other part of me is like, that's kind of their job. Let's see what we got here. Try to be try to be nice as possible. I mean they're rank twenty, so they're probably just trying to get everything they can. Nineteen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, we had a pretty even. I'll throw a GG in, why not? Let's try to stay positive. Let's try to be nice people tonight. Give me a chance to sip some more coffee. I'm not being nice to be nice. I'm being nice to pause. <laughs> it looks like no responses. I mean, we had two consoles, so they really need to add that. I feel like console players are known for disconnecting a lot, but also I feel like they would talk so much trash. I feel like they would talk so much trash, and I think we need more trash talking. Ooh. 
never really understood spine chill, I guess. That's the one where if it's looking at you, right? Uh, while spine chill is active, skill check triggers odds are increased by 10%. Okay. Oh, okay, when the killer is looking at you, you get notified. Sounds good. Alright, let's ready up because we gotta keep going. I lost another camping cat. I didn't even get to use that one. So rough. Let's do... Let's do a sponge. Why not? Let's do an offering. It's thick in the mist. Sounds good. Who knows? Maybe if I did an offering last time, I could have lived. Highly doubtful. I mean, the game was going good. I got... I got two generators done. I just happened to go to the wrong door. If I went to the right door, our team probably would have won. So I feel like I lost it for our team. I mean, most of them escaped, but I lost it for the other dude. And also, the other one who... he They're either their fingers slipped when they were trying to do the struggle, or they just gave up, which is really weird, because I was literally right next to them. So I probably could have saved them. I mean, probably. I definitely could have. So, that's a shame. Unless they were dead hooked, but I didn't see him get hooked twice before then. I thought it was one each. But that's okay. Yeah, but cheers to the other the other dude who came back to save me. At like the last second, even though we both weren't gonna birth both weren't gonna make it. He probably he definitely would have made it if he just went for the door. Yeah, I feel like even if I were to play this game every day, all day, I don't think I'd ever get to, like, rank one killer because I don't really feel the need to kill everybody all the time. Like, it, it, it gets to a point, I mean, maybe when you get into the higher ranks it matters because people can be really toxic and annoying and really smart and it's a struggle to actually get kills, but I feel like as a low rank killer, like, I've never had the point where I'm like, nope. I guess I should kill everybody, even though someone disconnected. The other one got killed, like, right off the bat, so it's only two people with five gens still. Not that that happens too much, but, like, never, never felt that, like, I need to kill everybody. Unless they're, like, all bringing flashlights and being toxic. Then it's try to kill everybody. Looking for matches. It's interesting, I was looking at, um, Sinnoh Beats, um, he has a Discord, and he was trying to get some teams going, I think I mentioned this before, and I tried looking at it, and it didn't seem like there was much buzz, which is really weird, because all of his other Discord channels and chat are always going off and talking about Dead by Daylight, like, all the time, so it's just weird to see not a lot of people trying. Maybe if I have some time during, like, midday one of these days, I'll try to throw in some chats in there. Try to get some some things kicking up. I'm sure it's just enough people who are like shy and not knowing how to start it or go about it. But I really like I really like Snow Beats. I uh, I haven't been watching him as long as certain other people that I know, like John Wolf and stuff like that. Um I I watched a lot of those people back in like YouTube and then when they transferred over to Twitch, I just kinda got recently into it. Um but yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying Sinobi. It's now that I'm really getting into him, and he's got like a, he's got a fun personality. I, I do like his sense of humor. Though he does get pretty damn sweaty sometimes. But he's, he's usually relaxed. Now that he's gotten his um, rank one killer, he's pretty chill. <laughs> he doesn't, he, he, he kind of obviously doesn't like when he loses, but he's also really chill about it. I don't think I've seen him, like, scream. Or, like, rage quit or anything like that. Whereas, like, John Wolf is, like, very always trying to go try hard. And, um, I do like his content, but he, he, he gets pretty angry. <laughs> he gets pretty angry. Usually it's rightfully so, though. Usually it's a bunch of, like, toxic people. But it is what it is. I'm excited for the day where I actually like rage quit or get angry on stream. I mean, I'll probably get frustrated, but man, this is taking forever. Let's ready up again. 
Hey, did you try turning it on and off again? Yes, I did. So we'll see. Like, this is maybe because I'm not playing professionally on this this particular game. I don't get too upset. I got upset the other day at um at Dark Souls. So probably taking a wee little break from that. <laughs> um one of the few times where I've actually gotten upset at Dark Souls, actually, for the first time was on a stream. I kept dying to the final boss. And that was really rough. <laughs> It's just because I find him to be a very, very cheap boss. His first form's fine. Second form is just BS after BS. It's okay. It's that get good, get good, um, mindset. Yeah, if I'm not getting enough, um, if it's taking too long, sorry, if it's taking too long to set up matches, I'll just go kill her. That's really quick. Obviously, one killer for four survivors, it's harder to find matches. Also, I got a message a long time ago, and I feel really bad. Also, one of my buddies is trying to get me into um, Apex, because it's crossplay now. I played it for PlayStation. It was really fun. However, however, I'd have to get it for PC, at least for streaming purposes. And, uh, I don't know how I feel about getting back into it. Because, it's okay. I've had, like, there was, like, one season. It was either season three or four or whatever. Went really well. Everything was great. Season two even went okay. Season one kind of sucked. Just because, like, nobody knew what was going on. And every I definitely didn't know what was going on, like, 90% of the time. And I was never, I've never played, like, a Battle Royale before that. And then, like... After, it was either season 5 or 4, whatever one I did good on. The season after that was absolutely terrible. Some cool characters, but so much balancing issues and so much changes that, like, you had to, like, reset your whole mindset while playing that game. And while I can appreciate trying to switch up the patterns and trying to switch up the gameplay or whatnot, sometimes when you switch it up that much that you have to completely shift gears while playing the game kind of annoying like it's not even about oh you have to relearn it and you can grasp it again and you just have to do some changes it's just the fact that when every season the game feels like almost a new game it's a double-edged sword yes it's nice for new players because they don't have anything to really reference yes it's nice for you know if you're really good at the game it might set you back a little bit and you have to like try to get up there so it's not the same people winning all the time but at the at the end of the day playing from season one, two, three, and four, um, and having them all be completely different. I did take so many breaks from that game. Also, why are we talking about Apex so much? Because <laughs> I got a message. I really don't know much about this game to talk about it, which really sucks. But don't worry, I have, if some of my um, followers come on, that know about this, they will definitely teach me some things. They are, they are very good and knowledgeable. I am not. Also, if I do start to go into um, the Sinnoh Beats Discord and get some people playing, hopefully, if they're not super toxic, which I don't think Sinnoh's uh, fans are that to toxic at all, they could probably teach me some things. Alright, we're going to shift gears just for a little bit. This is taking way too long. So let's back out, and let's go to play as killer. What killer do we want? I, I'm i not using Blight. <laughs> um, unless I have specific requests to use a Blight. I guess we could try the Huntress. I've never, I don't think I've ever used her. I, I know she can throw things. <laughs> you gotta get used to that. The question is, do I want to do that, or do I want to use? Now, Hillbilly. Um, not using the Wraith. Let's try out Huntress. Let's give another... Let's not learn a killer and be bad at all of them equally. Hex Huntress Lullaby. Attention. Survivors receive a 2% regression penalty when missing any skill checks. Oh, cool. That would explain... Okay, I noticed when I messed up one of my skill checks um, on the last generator against the Huntress. That actually went back, so... I guess that would make sense. I don't know if they have that perk or if that's a constant thing. But we're gonna go to killer now. 
Like, look at that BS. Look at that. Literally been sitting around for like probably like 10 15 minutes between both rounds waiting for a match pit killer boom straight to match now uh now my title's gonna be false advertising because low rank low level loser playing solo still low rank still low level still loser but not playing i mean i guess i'm playing solo so whatever but that's kind of expected so let's test out the Huntress. She has a throwing hatchet, and that's that's what I know about her. She hums. She she does cute songs. I do not know how to use her abilities. I don't know how she functions, what kind of style of gameplay she does. I played against her, but I either play against people who cannot do anything with her or people who will, like, dome you from halfway across the map with a hatchet. So there is that. All new and exciting. But yeah, like, with crossplay, I'm just was hoping so much quicker for loading times. When you get a partner, though, it definitely is quicker. It's hard to get started, but when you do, it's really easy because you're filling in half of a roster. I just feel like there's got to be so much solo players. That'd be so easy to find matches. Even if, like, the server, like, lags a little bit and, like, the connection's a little weird. That's perfectly fine. It's better than sitting here not playing the game at that point. Do I want it to be Lag City where you get hit when you're not even near the enemy because lag server? No. But do I want to play the game? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So how does she work? I just want to know how to throw the hatchets. Okay, well, that was pretty obvious. Oh, okay. So I can cancel it. I gotta... I don't know if the hatchet can bounce either. That's something... Also, it's weird because terror radius versus this humming radius. I don't know how that works either. Also, the generators are so close together. On this, like, edge area. Oh, I hit her. I, I actually thought I was going to miss that completely. Where'd she go? Oh my god, I'm so sensitive on the um, the mouse. Alright. Oh, it's so slow, too. Crazy. Oh, I got too, got too cocky. Oh, why is it so slow? I don't know if that's a delay from, like, the game itself, or if just really bad. It's probably me being really bad. I should probably lower the sensitivity. The only reason it's that high is, like, I usually miss my regular attacks. So I tend to, like, to flick my wrist at the last second towards the, uh, the survivor. Hello, team! Oh, it's not letting me... I should probably not be doing that. I should probably just be going for down, seeing as they had med kits and stuff. They're probably healing each other. Oh, that actually has a bigger hitbox than I thought. I feel like she wasn't trying, so now I feel bad for getting that down. Um, and there's a hook right here. Cool. I'm sorry, maybe I will not be an asshole to you? kind of let me hit her though so and she didn't really run so now I feel really bad I don't feel that bad but I still feel bad time to hug the edge of the map what's going on where did you go what, are you doing? what is happening why are people doing this to me I'm so confused I haven't even gotten to practice my hatch throwing. I guess I'll take, oh man, they're struggling. Huntress needs some beefier arms. I guess if you could pick someone up with an arm, it's still. I 
I guess we'll go this way. I think it's more of a distraction that's happening, but that's okay. I'll take I'll take two hooks. The goal is to try to get one death. One murder. <gasps> Rude. I'm so bad at tracking people too. Also, like, it is one of those things I gotta realize that not only is my terror radius giving me a lot. Oh, I got that. That was so on accident. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Alright, that's fine. I kind of like her so far. I mean, I'm kind of having like a... Like a unfortunately lucky game. Where are the hooks? Kind of having like a semi lucky game start, but I think I just kind of enjoy the concept of the creepiness of the humming. It also kind of makes me have to work on my other crap. And it looks like someone was playing with this. I'm assuming it was the um, the person I just hooked. So the, the problem is I've got like one hook on a bunch of people. And the other person's still hooked. Interesting. Oh, is that how I get hatchets? Oh, but I have five, so that was unnecessary. Oh, unless I just got it then. Unless that was absolutely unnecessary. I guess we can keep stalling, I guess. Oh, I thought I saw someone in the corner of my eye. Oh no, I'm on the wrong side of the map. That's okay. I'm one to try to avoid camping as much as possible unless it's the end anyways. But even then, I feel really bad about like face camping bodies. I don't know if I hooked this person. I have a terrible memory. Let's hook it right next to a gen so they have a better chance of helping their teammate. Oh no, that sounded bad. Probably I'm going to the wrong generator. I thought I just heard. Yes? You want me to kick your generator again? Oh, they didn't work on this one. Oh no, someone touched bones. And I think I, that was actually one of the ones I had. That's funny. Oh, they saved their partner. Let's go chase down. Oh wow, apparently that hit marker is way more than I thought it would. All right, normally I wouldn't hook. But because you went straight for the generator where you got unhooked, it just seems fitting. Alright. So no generators are done. It I think that's a dead hook. So I guess we should probably play a little nicer. Oh, they got one. Okay. I don't know why I went up to that generator just now. There was no noises. It hasn't been worked on. I'm assuming they're going to keep trying to backtrack to their other generators. Oop, there's a heal. They're having a good time hanging out with each other. Looks like this whole side of the map they haven't really touched. Oop. Oh! Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay. That was more for comedy purposes. I like the zigzagging though. Oh, you zigged when you should have zagged on that one. I think this is second hook for her. Can I take you all the way over here? Right next to this other generator so you guys can actually work on one? Stop it, I'm trying to, try and get you closer. It's okay, I'm actually helping you. Boom, all right.
Generators, generators. They only got one generator done. I haven't been too harsh, though, have I? I don't know if... Because, like, I got two people right off the bat from just, like, standing still in front of me. I'm uh, not sure why that is. I've probably been working on this generator. I haven't been near this generator in a hot minute. Sorry. I get I get paranoid when I see, like, bright colors in the corner of my eye. Ooh. Hello. Oh, I don't have any throwable hatchets. I keep forgetting that these are actually limited. Oh, I got it before the pallet dropped. Oh my god, that noise the Huntress just made. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, it sounded like she stubbed her fucking toe. Well, you know what? Let's give them... Did they get off hook or is that person dead? Oh, it looks like they're dead. Let's go get some hatchets. Give them... Oh, someone left a medkit here. Let's give them a second to catch up. Because they got one injured. They could probably do a healing pity party. The thing is, it's like... I'm not going to just sit here when you have nothing done, though. As much as I want to help you... Maybe I can help, like, open up door at the end? Or, you know, not close hatch? Alright, come on. Go do your task. Go do your task. Go do your task. Come here. Go do your task. Now I feel bad. There's also a thing here. I need to protect my totems. They're injured. I don't think I hooked the other player. The question is, where is the other player this whole time? Go on. Go on. I'm going to give you a head start. Go Go on. Go on. Do the... Oh! Do the generator. <laughs> I try to play nice killer. I really do. I don't want to give it to them, but, like, the fact that they had, like, two AFK players... Like, not AFK players, but like, are you serious? <laughs> I don't want to be a dick, but like, I'm not going to kill you. Just, just, just chill. I mean, I'm definitely going to try to hit the other one. Just to get some, some points in. Can I dome one of these? No. I mean, I missed, but. Come on. I know, the engine, sometimes they feel like they're forever, sometimes they go quicker. I don't know if that's, like, a pressure thing from the killer being nearby. Alright, well, there's one done. There will be hunting soon. I will go back to it. Hey. Hey. Don't touch those. Can't really do anything. It's not like I have any, um... she really not done this one? Maybe it's just not her setup? Oh my god. She's taking forever. <laughs> Sorry. I, I find that very satisfying. Alright. Let's go this way, boys. We gotta, we gotta lead them to their generators for whatever goddamn reason. I'm the good killer. Please, please ban me for uh, boosting randoms. It's just they take so long. How are you guys messing up that bad? And plus, I, ha well, I mean, the perk is gone. But I have that perk where if you mess up, it just, like, uh, resets, like, some of your stuff. Oh, well. You gotta play it nice. At least until the end. But, I mean, I got a bunch of hatchet throws, so I'm actually pretty impressed that I got some of those. First time using this person. I kinda, I kinda like her. I kinda like her. I can 
can see myself playing this a little bit more once I lower my goddamn sensitivity. If that's even an option, I can't tell in this game. There's so many bad um, setting choices. They really, really care about the, the quality of the graphics rather than anything else. Like, have to direct them. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll try to get some hits in at the, uh, at the game. Oh my gosh, people. It's so hard to watch. Like, I, I get it that people make mistakes. Especially, like, I make mistakes all the time on those things. But, like, when you're literally given three gems. It's pretty bad. That is really, oh. It's almost hitting that midnight time. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good night. A little bit longer. Hard to commentate though. I mean half of my video oh my gosh. Half of my video has been waiting in a pregame lobby. So we shall see. Come on. Part of me wants to murk these people for being so bad. Here. There's also Whoa! items. Someone pick up this item box. There's an item box. Pick up the item box. There you go. I mean, to be fair, they didn't spam me with flashlights. There's a toolbox. Alright, where are the doors? Where are the doors? I will guide them. I will I will make sure they have a good night. My goal is as killers to usually make sure people don't feel um, the toxic community any more than they have to. And the guiding light. They can spin around so fast. It's so crazy. And I'm still on the fence about do I lower my sensitivity because I'm still getting hatchet shots. It's just if you, like, move it just ever so slightly, that hatchet's gonna go so far off. Eh. Crawl. Can I on? How do I on let someone go? I actually don't know how to do that. I don't know if you can just put someone down. Be like, I don't want to deal with you right now. There you go, now leave me. There you go. They should have healed each other. You think if I was giving those points, they should have healed each other. Bloody millionaire. Ooh, I got an achievement. Let's go. I think that's just for blood points, I'm assuming, having like a million blood points through everything. Ah, that's fine, I really don't care about the blood points. Uh, iridescent in Gatekeeper. Slowing down generator progress and gold on Chaser. Seems about right. Wow, level 19. Thanks, guys. Oh, and the two people I helped were, um, console, so they can't say anything. But there was a level 12 that I got, I killed, or rank 12 that I killed, which is very interesting. Oh well, um, seems about right. I'm sure the other people left. Oh, sorry. I just, like, noticed my cat is just, like, creeping around the corner. Very tired looking. All right, let's uh. Actually, want to level up this this character. This is actually really cool. Oh wait, nope. Let's let's save our blood points. Ah, now nah, we can definitely get some more. I was thinking we could finish off um, Felix, but at the same time, I'm going to get enough points for Felix just from playing. What happened? Why did you exit out of the blood web? Boom, seems absolutely great. Whoa. I didn't know I was readied up. So we're gonna play for again. And I see the thing is, I mean I guess that was quicker, but I'm getting readied up with like single people lobby, which is fine, but why is it taking so long? Oh well. Uh loadout, uh add-ons. Ooh. 
Hit target server from exhausted status. There's so many, like, statuses that I have no idea what they actually do. Uh, blood points into sacrifice category? Sure. Let's do everything. I'm sure I'm going to be playing against, like, people that are actually good. Not that those people were bad, I just don't think most of them were trying. I mean, I got two of them, three of them downed, hooked separately, and then killed um, two of them. Like, pretty, pretty quickly, but not that quickly. Enough for them to at least finish, like, a generator. The fact that I had to help them fix four generators, it's kind of ridiculous. But that's just how it goes sometimes. Especially when they're like team oriented players. So it is what it is. Fair warning, not a real bow tie. Not a real bow tie. I tie my own regular ties, but not bow ties. Don't have time for that. <laughs> Nor the patience. Fake bow ties are pretty cheap and pretty easy to put on. Plus, I got this one at, like, um, a Spear of Halloween, like, so many years ago, and I never really got to use it. We got an ace. Two aces do not know what they're about. Uh, Nia Carlson don't know what they're about, and a Dwight. I know what Dwight's about-ish. So we'll see. I'm, like, sliding down in my chair. I'm short enough as it is. I don't need help being short. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to play this one for a little bit. Um, also trying to, like, uh, stack up some videos just to get some help with the ninth. I do, uh, trying to do a D&D &D session every other week on, I think it's Friday that that lands on. Time is just, just doesn't exist to me, nor, nor do dates. But the ninth have a D&D &D session, and they, they kind of run later, and usually... Not that it's, like, too exhausting, but it's just kind of, like, mentally exhausting to do that and then go straight into here. And usually it's a pretty pretty long day leading up to that one, trying to get everything done and situated. Luckily, I don't DM it, so there are chances that I could probably be on after. Just depends on how hyped I am. And how much time I want to spend. Because it's, like, at least, like, with Twitch, you can't just, like, make a bunch of videos and streams, like, off and then like pile them up kind of like YouTube and just kind of like put them out whenever you have time so that if you're not actually playing that day you can just like take the whole day to play a bunch of games record them edit them and then be like all right day one is this video I'm gonna put out day two is this video I'm gonna put out oh and I'm right next to all right sanctum of wrath have I played this I have played this map like twice and I want to protect the center one I believe As much as I want to hug the edges. There's a lot of places to hide and a lot of things for me to throw my hatchet at. It's also ridiculously dark. So, it's pretty quiet. I'm probably not going to do too well on this map. Uh, lack of knowledge. Oop. Hello. <gasps> you dodged me. I guess I can break this pallet instead of going for the throwing all of my hatchets right off the bat. You don't think I'm gonna come out here? Wait, where did they go? Oh. How did that miss? Oh, she's got such a short range. I mean, I guess that's fair that she has a short range because she also gets the uh the hatchet so i guess it kind of evens itself out but like i don't really know this map i know it's short um pretty small i guess actually it doesn't look that small <laughs> maybe it's just the dark colors <laughs> oh someone's going for the center and i don't want that yeah i've only played on this map twice it's pretty cool i played against oni on this map which is one of the one of the times i actually played it and that was that was great. Oni was terrifying. Figured I'd try to open this up anyways. 
I do not want them to get the center one done because then it's just a loop-de-loop. -loop. Looks like they're working on this one. No? All right. I thought the flashing lights meant it was being worked on, but I don't know. I don't know about enough about this game, and we are trying to learn. I'm trying to collect some resources, I swear, guys. Oh, I thought they were trying to camp in the, uh, the trees or the little grass. It would definitely be better if I could actually chase. I can't really see much because of the lighting. I know I complained about that earlier. Milky Way here. I am definitely new to this game. Absolutely garbage, actually. Um, I don't know any metas. I just play it, like, here and there. I'm trying to get into it, though. Because uh, I do enjoy it. I'm just really bad. So, fair warning. If you're looking for quality content and tryhards, it is not me. <laughs> At least on this game. But I, I do not know this map very well either, which is going against me. And I'm also only played this dumb question, but did you know you can hold the mouse to lunge? Ah! Um, well, I do now. Um, I didn't know there was a difference. Uh, sometimes uh, I felt like maybe I just clicked longer on accident and I lunged, but I thought she just had a short uh, attack button. Wow, I'm going to thank you a hundred times over. That is something I feel like I should have just known. Let's try to get this center center one done. Wow. I feel even dumber than I always feel. Oh no, you ran past the pallet. Come back. You're supposed to pallet me, damn it. Ugh, I also have the sensitivity like ridiculous. Are you really gonna circle me? Alright, that worked. Yeah, but no question is dumb. Uh, in my opinion, especially when I have no freaking clue what's going on. Like, I just lost that chase already. Oh, I see some scratch marks over here. Question is, where are they going? Don't worry about it, you aren't, you're just a new- Yeah, I'm very newbie. I play more Survivor, but even then I don't play often, and the only reason I went to Killer tonight is because the loading times for getting into a game have been ridiculous. I'm trying to get into some discords that um, I know some people are in to try to get some teammates. I've said that I think every time I've played uh, Dead by Daylight is I'm always looking for people to play with. This is going to be a washout though. Second time playing this killer and don't know this map. And I'm bad. But I do appreciate the advice. That's very helpful. Oh, he's right in front of me, too. Uh, I want this one. Why are you so fast? There it is. Probably need some more uh, hatchets. I definitely hear him healing himself. Or at least, I'm assuming he's going to heal himself. He did have the med pack. There you are. You can circle me all you want. I'm gonna tunnel on this one. Hey, I got it. I'm getting pretty lucky with uh, some of the hatch throws, though. Which is kind of the reason why I'm trying to go into this killer. It kind of reminds me of, um... A weird version of the Executioner. I kind of like those long distance because I'm pretty bad at the uh, chases. How long have you been playing? Oh, here, sorry. I'm gonna go into here and then I'll have a chance to read. I offered to play Zima a highly high rank so we could get close and destroy. Yeah, you know what? That's actually very fair. I've, I've run into that problem a couple of times is that uh, people are really high ranked so. It would be it'd be really hard for me to play against that. I appreciate the uh, the concept, though. I appreciate the offer. Uh, how long have you been playing for? If you don't mind me asking, and what do you play on? At this point, I'm just kind of screwing around on this map because there's no way I'm gonna win. 
Not that I go for wins in this right now. Oh, I didn't want to camp, but... I have a new set of hatchets. You want to test them out? Oh, I threw that way higher than I wanted to. That's sensitivity, though. Here, I'll break this, because this could be a bad loop. Like, two months and on PC. Oh, nice. Do you play regularly? I mean, two months to be a high rank killer. That's, that's pretty nice. Or a high, high rank player, I should say. I don't know if you're a killer main or a survivor main. Or split both. Oh, okay, so you do play both. Well, that's good. I, I like the variety. Wow, let me kick this barely dungeon. It's not like I'm doing anything else right now. Oh, this one's almost done, though. I thought I saw some movement. Maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Probably sabotage the... Ooh, okay. Apparently, like, three survivor and rank six killer in two months? Holy crap! That just sounds ridiculous to me. Also, thank you for following. I really appreciate that. But, like, how do you do that? How many hours do you have into it? Like, good on you. That is, that is so impressive, actually. Come here. I wish to smack you with my axe. Or hatchet. It's still a hatchet. I guess I'll get some chase points in. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought the window was on the other side. Come on. Alright, so there's one. Where'd he go? I'm so bad at chasing. Where's where's the run? I guess I'll go back to this because it's almost done. I watched some videos and copied those people. That's probably a good idea. I mentioned this earlier, um, but like I watch other people play it on Twitch that are like really high ranked. But for whatever reason, I just don't absorb the metas or absorb like the techniques. It just kind of is like background noise for me. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh, I thought she was uh, closer. So bad. It is just so satisfying to get a hatchet hit though. Oh. <laughs> so bad. That's so funny. I love that. But yeah, I'm trying to get some, um... Oh my god, the sensitivity is crazy. I'm trying to get some people together, um... Uh, to try to, you know, teach me some things and also just have another team to play with. But I'll probably switch to Survivor after this so I can try to get some gameplay in. This is going to be better. Just comes with time. Huntress is pretty hard killer to use. Yeah, I've noticed that... Um, beef, what? Before the fever. Oh, sorry. I have, like, terrible essay. Before the fever. Yeah, I've heard that she is pretty hard to use, but I also heard that, like, if you get really good at the Huntress, it's very devastating. So I figured I'd give it some chances. Kind of like, uh, I mentioned earlier that this kind of reminds me of, uh, the Executioner. And I'm not good with chases, so I like to have the range hits for, uh, pallet drops. Uh, As very little that I've played, I do know that I don't like, uh, pallet loops as killer. So I feel like that's a good way to kind of try to shut those down. But I do appreciate people taking the time to <laughs> watch me uh, struggle very hard. And I'm also confused about the, uh, I don't think any killers like pallet, yeah that's that's true. I don't think any killer likes pallet loops. Um, but, like, I'm just so bad at chasing that I need some sort of, like, advantage. At this point, I'm just kind of stalling the game and just trying to get some hits in and some blood points. Which I will probably not put into this character. I will probably put it into my survivor that I'm trying to level up, which is Felix right now. I got gifted, um, the, the Blight DLC and the Executioner DLC uh, by a buddy of mine. And I've uh, actually been really enjoying it.
So they still have, even though I'm not really doing anything, they're taking so long to get these generators done, which I think is actually pretty funny. Looks like this is their next one. Yeah, this is pretty much almost there. But yeah, I'm trying to do a longer night of Dead by Daylight because last time it got cut off short by uh, some server issues. And I'm just trying to get into this game. I want to at least get above mediocre at some point and to just try to get more people to play it. I mean, with crossplay coming out, you would think the lobbies would be easier to get a hold of. But I still sense a lot of people aren't playing this anymore, that they either dropped out a long time ago and haven't come back to it. We'll probably be playing for quite some time tonight. There's four players. Oh, there's some scratch marks, though. Oh, okay. I also got to remember that, like, it's not terror, terror radius. It's also um, the humming. So they usually see me coming from a mile away. I, yeah, I also don't, <laughs> I don't have perks. I think it's the one perk where um, if they mess up, they do, like, their progress resets a little bit. But they also already got the totem off of that. Also, thank you for the follow um, before the fever. I'm also terrible with names as well, so please forgive me. I'm not even anywhere near the generators. I'm just kind of roaming around, getting a feel for the map. I actually do like the concept of this map a lot. Uh, but mainly probably because the first time I played it was against Oni, and I thought Oni was so cool when he first came out. Oh, it's this. She did the same thing last time. Oh, so so high sensitive. Uh, sensitivity. All right, so let's, I guess, go towards the door and try to get a couple hits before this ends. But yeah, I'm terrible. I've always had a bad um, memory with names. For whatever reason to me, I kind of, um, and this is going to kind of suck to say, but... I judge people and remember them based on like actions and sentences and stuff and like things that they do or like characteristics. But if you told me to remember like a name of like a high school buddy even, I would be so like brain dead. I cannot make the connection of names. Remember the face forever though. Where's the other? Yeah. I'm assuming they're all escaping from this door over here. Oh, I completely whiffed it. Uh, oh, and I don't have any more. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so nice for letting me get one hit in. All right. I guess I could grab these. We're probably at the other the other door, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, oh. Yeah. Oh my god, the sensitivity is garbage. Sometimes it really helps me with the sensitivity, but other times I like barely move my mouse and it like throws the hatchet across the map that game took that game took so long <laughs> that game took so so long especially when I wasn't putting on much pressure and oh okay so I was two rank eights a rank 12 and a rank 14 against a, a team seems seems good seems good that probably didn't help either but at the same time rank doesn't really mean much with I think there's like rank resets I actually was thinking about that because now that I'm getting in the game, I'm thinking about actually investing money. And I am really hoping that if they do a Halloween sale, that uh, the DLC, because I was looking at it and some of the some of the stuff is still um, like five to nine dollars. And I'm really, really hoping that they do a sale so I can just buy a bunch of the characters and test them out as a low rank. Because I heard if you're really high rank, and you're testing out things, it'll just drop your rank by, by like a ridiculous amount if you're not any good with them. Also, is there anybody um, that you'd recommend on like Twitch to watch to get better? I've been watching John Wolf in um, Sinnoh Beats. So if you have any other recommended uh, players that are really good, at the game that I could probably watch and try to actually absorb information from. I'm definitely down for recommendations and also I just like to follow channels to kind of like help the community out. 
I feel like it's really hard to either get started or keep it going, so I feel like that's just another way to help out people. And the game itself, like Dead by Daylight, the more people that are actually streaming it and getting follows and stuff on stream are like going to keep playing it so it keeps the game going. And there's not a lot of like competitive multiplayer games based on horror, at least that are like top quality. Here, let me write these names down really quickly. Get my handy dandy notebook. And also, if it gets too long for the waiting for a match as Survivor, just let me know and I'll go back to Killer. Because, like, tonight's been really weird. I mean, it's like prime time, in my opinion. Uh, do -do -do. Oats Darva? I've, I've seen that name before, uh, but I didn't know anything about it. Do they mainly do Dead by Daylights? Or uh, does he just kind of do, like, everything? I appreciate the suggestion, though. I'll definitely try to um, follow that. He does a lot of killer content. That'll be nice. Also, what are the opinions about Blight right now? Because I'm kind of 50-50. I don't want to touch him because I don't like the idea of bashing with my high sensitivity, bashing into things and sprinting across the map. But I also feel like newbies can play him just for the pressure of getting from one end of the map to the other. So I don't know what people's opinions are. I've heard mixed things that he can either be really broken or just like really easy to use for new players because you can just rush from one end of the map to the other. See, I played against him once and I would agree that um, it's really hard to get away from him. Especially like certain maps are really good because it's like open areas with like a couple of things to bounce off of. So like if he's on to you, it's kind of like game over. And it's hard to, like, kind of loop them around things, depending on how the player plays. But, like, other maps, like the Swamp one, it's like there's so much to bounce off with and some of the collision is off that I feel like that's an easy one to beat the Blight in because, like, they're just going to smack off of so many things. So you don't know about it for new players? I guess that's fair. I mean, it d I think he's, what, like an, an intermediate or a difficult killer? At least that's what I think it says, like, on rank. I don't know. I feel like that's just kind of, like, made up because I feel like you can get good at any killer. I've gone up against someone insane, blades, legit, bouncing flawlessly through hallways. Yeah, it seems really scary. Especially because isn't there, like, there's perks where, like, if he bounces off near people, you can, like, see them? Or, like, hear them better or some crap? And then there's also, like... Isn't there like a one-shot ability if you bounce off of enough things before a hit? There's a lot going for him, at least for perk-wise. But I don't know enough about him. I have him unlocked, but I haven't played him. Mainly because I want to get good at a regular killer before I do nutso on speed dude. Though, I do think he's one of the cooler looking killers. I really, I really do like the look. Um, in his design. I feel like a lot of people are agreeing on that. And the fact that it's an original killer is nice. I'll probably probably wait just a couple more minutes. I'm having such a hard time finding matches tonight as Survivor. I know I'm playing a solo, so that doesn't help. I'm definitely been saving up blood points to get some perks, because it'll be so... I'm not sure how the perks work. I know that if you unlock a certain perk for a character, it can be used universally. If, is that true? Out of Vermintide? I've never played it, but I have seen gameplay. And I would agree. I, like, give him a little rat tail and he'd be perfect. But I'm not sure. So I know there's certain characters that you want to level up first to get their perks universal, is what I've been told. I don't know how much truth that is, though. Sure, why not? And he looks like something out of... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just read that. I see, like, motion on the other screen I'm watching. Can unlock perks universally. Okay, so I should probably focus on, like, one person at a time so that the other ones can get those perks earlier. Is that kind of the goal? Is to, like, pick one that you really want, like a perk, and then just level up that person? I don't know the metas or the rules, so, like, this is actually really helpful. I should probably ready up and not be an asshole. 
been complaining about the wait times, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, how would I sit here and chat and not ready up anyways? Great Twitch gameplay. All right, let's get back in the mindset. <laughs> I'll try to try to read. It's um, it's bad enough that I'm bad at this game, but it also takes me a little bit to read. So if I don't get to you like right off the bat, I apologize. I know a lot of people like constant um, connections with their their chat, so I will try. Especially at like such a small channel like this, I feel like you kind of deserve that to the followers. It's like if they ask questions or mention things, you should probably respond as much as you can. Also, I don't know how the friending works on Twitch yet, but if you do want to drop like a friend so that we can whisper whatever the chat conversation is, try to get some like Discord things going. Kind of try, I want to do like a Discord for um, Dead by Daylight people just so I constantly have people on, on like call. All right. I didn't see the hints to see what the killer was. I'm going to go straight for the middle. I like to get that one out of the way. It's pretty risky though. I don't know if there's a drop down. I'm also like sprinting like an idiot so there's gonna be so many scratch marks. Oh my gosh. I got cocky on that one. That's my bad. I'm also getting a lot of skill checks. I know it's RNG based, but I think certain killers, if they're near you, also set it off. Oh, nice. Someone rushed that gen. Also, Vermintide is, uh, I'm sorry to bring that up again, but Vermintide, isn't that like the left for dead, but like medieval fighting rats? Just to refresh my memory. Also, I have no idea what that symbol is. And yep, all right, cool. It looks really fun. I don't know much about it though. Oops, should I? Oh no, okay, they're working on. Okay, yeah. Oh, no! Damn it. It's ghost face. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. Ghost face always makes me jump. Every time. I'm gonna go for the trade, I guess. I'm not gonna too close. I, I want to heal him, but the guy's way too close. But Ghostface always makes me like shit my pants. Like, especially there's like smaller maps with like the tiny houses. They'll just hide around a corner and then like slice you out of nowhere. Always terrifies me. I guess I'll try to do a generator over here. It's nice that the middle one's almost done though. I'm glad someone's doing gens though. We got one done. Probably could have gotten that other one done in the middle. Now that I think back at it, I just didn't know how safe the uh, how safe the area was. Oh, okay. I guess it's nice to spread out the gens. 200 hours in this game. Woo! I play I play like Bethesda games, like the Elder Scrolls and like Fallout. I think I only have like, those are the only games where I have that high of hours in on PC. That's crazy, 200 hours, nice. Oh, great ones of the Dead by Daylight community, please share your wisdom as much as possible so that I can get out of low rank and change my titles. <laughs> 50 hours on Skyrim, oh yeah. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, I just got into P... I just got into PC gaming recently. I've been a console player my whole life. And uh, let me tell you, mods have changed my goddamn life forever. And same with Diat. 
I think this is one of those games where the more hours I put in, the more I'll get out of it, so... Is this generator not done? I don't understand what the blocked off generators are about. Here, one sec. I kind of have to look away. Oh, is that a dead hook already? Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I think it's one of those games where the more I put into it, the more I'll get out of it. And also, like, I feel like the community is a little bit better um, in this game. Like, some of the other games I play, I don't really get a lot of views, which is actually perfectly fine. I really don't care about that. But I've noticed a lot more people hop onto these videos and try to, like, chat. Oh, hello. They try to, like, chat and actually talk with me, whereas other people will hop on other games and not want to communicate. Oh, I didn't know he was that close. And he one-shotted me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, same dude. I just got my PC a few months ago. I came from console as well. Yeah, so, like, there's a, there's a few games. Like, this game is one of the only games that I use uh, mouse and keyboard on. Because... I'm like, God, I had to think about my age. I'm like 23 now, soon to be 24. And I've been playing video games since like, probably like seven or eight or six, even. And like, always had a controller in my hand. Always, always. So it's just weird to play uh, mouse and keyboard. Oh, use a, see, I guess it's fine because it's also meant for console. But like, I'm 50-50 because I love the sensitivity in the, the keyboard. Uh, but I guess you could just up the sensitivity on mouse, or controller. I guess I could probably self-heal now. I think I'm pretty far away. Yeah, I could, I could imagine. It's, I'm 50-50 about the sensitivity. It's good for, like, regular attacks and, tr like, as a killer. But it's also sometimes annoying for me because... I'll like get scared and like flick my wrist when I'm running and I'll just like start ramming into crap like an idiot as a survivor. Also, was I near? I could have swore I was near a gen. I think I just talked my way from a gen. That's funny. Oh no, that one's done. Oh, okay, it's in the shack. Spooky shack time. It's it's weird though because um I still play the PlayStation with my buddies every once in a while for, like, like the last Call of Duty and whatnot that came out. And uh, it's weird because sometimes I go from this to, like, controller, like, shooter, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? I've always been fairly accurate with controller in most FPS games. I just prefer to use controller. I would say first-person shooters, I'm definitely, I have to use a controller, especially first-person. Third-person, you can kind of get away with mouse and keyboard, but first-person shooters... I don't care what anybody says about the speed and like the flicking shooting uh, for PC. I just, I feel like if I just crank up my, um, oh, flippity flip. If I just crank up the sensitivity a little bit on the mouse and controller, I feel like I'm just as fine playing on mouse um, as, uh, sorry, on controller as mouse and keyboard. What is that symbol? What is that symbol? What is that purple skull symbol? What is happening? Does that mean he's about to like one shot me? <laughs> That's fine. We got a generator done. Another, you might want to start looking behind you. I don't know what that is on mouse and keyboard, actually. And it would probably really help for, like, especially for killers like these. I'd have to look at the um, the controller layout or the. Oh, I forgot I was in struggle, and I still have it s set for spacebar, which is really annoying. I keep thinking I'm gonna change it, but then I forget to. That symbol means you're exposed and can be. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Does Michael Myers kind of have a thing like that too, where if he like chases you enough, he can just one shot you? Hi, buddy. Hi. Let's get out of here together. What a G. Oh man, earlier um, I was playing, and like I had a real G. He got me off the hook, even though everybody was out and there wasn't enough time to leave. Still sacrificed himself. No. Just, just kill me. I just, I ran right towards him. Just kill me, please. He has to stalk until tier three, and then he can one-shot you for a period of time. Oh, okay, cool. I definitely just blew it for that teammate now. I feel really bad. I'm sorry. 
Gay Gamer 19. It wasn't meant to be. He's the killer I play the most. Oh, Ghostface or Michael? Michael? Yeah, he seems really cool. He doesn't jump scare me as much as, um, like, Ghostface. But, like, there's something that's, that's so cool about him. Like, I feel like, though, I don't notice Michael as much as I notice Ghostface in the distance, which I think is really weird. Like, tall, lanky Michael. I'll, like, be doing a gen, and then I'll be like, by the time I realize he's there, it's too late. So I don't know how he gets away with it. Oh, he found me. Good for him. But we got a generator done, and that's my only goal for most of these survivor missions, is to get a generator done. When I first started, Michael scared me so many times. I really do like the, um, the, like, low profile... Oh! Oh, the door's not open. I'm an idiot. That's fine. Don't touch me. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to this dude in time. You keep tapping, you bastard. Yeah. No! I was right there. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know where the other door is, though. Oh, that sucks. I, I literally saw the button prompt. Well, I, I hear the... The terror... Oh! Hatch is right there. I can't fully heal myself. Please? Can I not use Hatch? Oh, that's only like my second hatch escape, too. I got one the last time I played for the first time. Michael scared me. So yeah, yeah, I, I definitely say Michael. I love the low terror radius ones that like have to stalk and like get up. I, I prefer them to like the one shot chainsaw guys. Like stuff like that. Like at least they have to build up to their one shot and kind of earn it. When you're the last one alive. Or if you have a key. The only key I've ever gotten as a survivor is like the broken green one. And I actually had a really fun... Oh. The rank rank 3 survivor. Good for him. Uh, I had the green key once. And I think it's the broken key. But we were all playing... Um, we were all playing Cher Cheryl? The, the girl from uh, Silent Hill. We were all playing it. And so the killer kept trying to go for me because I had the key. And like we all just kept like comedy like zigzagging into each other and taking hits and the killer the killer almost raged quit. Like you could just tell he kept just standing in the open, just so sad. Let's get a ready up. But that was an okay game. I feel like that was an okay game. Level ten, I think I get another perk. Slot. Um I don't really know spine chill, I don't need that one. Making your tracks harder to follow. I feel like that's better for higher levels. We'll do that one. I feel like this character is really good at spine chill. Is really good. I thought it just kind of helped with people staring at you. Get notified when the killer is looking directly in your direction and standing within thirty. So okay, within distance. Uh, when it's activated, so that means if the killer is looking at me or if he's in the thirty-six meters, my odds of skill check are increased by ten percent. And the success zone is reduced by 10%. But my... Rep oh, but everything else is increased by like 2%. That's what I use in my build. So basically, if he's coming your way, you'll know. I guess that's pretty good. Um, is it like... Um, what kind of um, notification is it? Does it actually like show your perk light up? Or is it like a, an audio cue? It lights up? Oh, that's awesome. I never thought much of about it because I didn't read the second part. I was just like, all right, knowing he's there won't help me as much if I'm losing percentages on everything. But I guess the 2% at the bottom also helps too. That's good to know. I really appreciate you guys' help. I really, it means a lot. I guess thickening the mist is fine. Uh, let's look at more like a blood web. I'm like stroking my beard like I'm an old man that understands anything at all. But I'm just kind of like, hmm, indeed. 
So that's pretty cool. And does it, is there like a, I'm assuming there's like a cooldown in between the uses, like if he sees you, you hide, and then he automatically sees you again, I'm assuming you don't get the notification. No cooldown. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Even better. That actually makes that really good. I know a couple of players that use it, but I never understood why. But I guess that, yeah, that it makes sense to be able to see them from that far away. I feel like that and, like, Felix's ability to, like, see generators around him is really nice. Just kind of like an aura, like a, <laughs> a safety circle around him. Yeah, from what I read from the perk, it says... Oops, sorry, I know this is level one, but it says... When it's active, your speed while repairing, sabotaging, healing, unhooking, vaulting, cleansing, opening exit gates, and unlocking is increased by 2%. Um, and I'm sure the upper levels, like the, the other tiers of this perk, are amazing. But, like, that's a lot of bonuses at 2%. That's crazy. I never noticed that before. That is awesome. Especially that opening exit gate, I feel like that's probably one of the better ones. And vaulting. Because, like, if, if you're vaulting, like, uh, uh, they must be near you at that point. And then also, like, exit gate. Sometimes, like, you know, opening up the door a few seconds early is going to save your life when the killer is, like, beaming right at you. So that's pretty cool. Actually, I didn't know. That's, that's a really good perk. Huh. I feel like if I was um, playing with, like, not randos... Like, if I had a group, I would switch more towards the, the team helping. But I also need to get better, because, like, is it worth it for me to team help and then get hit down immediately? And, yeah, that exit gate sounds so nice. I don't know how many times I've been on the exit gate by myself, and the killer just, like, beelines it right to me. And I'm like, well, if only I opened it, like, two seconds sooner, I would have been able to, like, get off at least through crawling. So that'll be nice. I appreciate the help means a lot. So yeah, I think, uh, like I said, the only other um, survivor, I said it earlier in the video, um, the only other survivor I have leveled up is Dwight by quite a bit, because I played it a long, long time ago for a little bit. Um, and uh, I got him up to 18. The only reason I did is because I had a bunch of buddies that would play Dwight with the, uh, the perk that says more people working on one gen. Um more people working on one gen, like, makes it go faster, so we would just all play Dwight and, like, s like rush gens. I definitely play with you, but I'm a higher rank. Yeah, definitely, um, I'll definitely try to, like, level up more, and I'll be able to play with more people. Um, so, like I said, if you, um, if you feel comfortable either dropping, like, names or whatever on Discord, or friending me or messaging me, however that works, I'll definitely try to accept them, and we can kind of chat because I, like I like to talk to the community about things. Also, three console players. Let's go. But yeah, once I get higher ranked, I'll definitely try to, like, yoink some people into a group. Like, I appreciate that. I'm, like, always looking for people. Even if, like, they're high ranked, it's just nice to have, like, people playing the game to talk to. What do you mean by that, though, Milky Way? Like, the rank system could use a, a reimagine. I feel like it's really hard for the rank system to matter too much. Um, in my opinion, I mean, obviously, I don't know better, but, like, I see people who are high ranks in low rank matches anyways. Because I feel like it's so hard to find uh, certain lobbies that they kind of force people in anyways. But, like, I don't know how they would do it. <laughs> Yeah, I wish you could see, like, I can see that I'm level 10 on Felix. I feel like it'd be better for me to see, I don't care if they're a rank 20 or not, but I would love to see, like, what level they were. Like, at least, I guess it, you don't want to do that, though, because if you show everyone's level, you're going to get these people who are high levels and get in a lobby with low levels just bounce immediately. My experience, when people reach rank 1 and stay rank 1, they league above someone who is rank 3, for example. I've heard that, like, the higher ranks are so much harder to, like, distinguish yourself. Like, it's easy to get from, like, 20 to, like, 15 or whatever. But I've heard it's really hard to go from, like, 5 to 1. And that, like, that really tells you the difference. 
But you can also de-pip down to, like, three really easy, too. Like, if you're rank one, you can go down to rank three by missing, like, two games in a row, and you didn't happen to get a kill. Especially as a killer, I feel like it's easy to de-pip because there's so much going against the killer at high ranks. Like, if you have a knowledgeable team of survivors, it's almost impossible to fully lose a whole team. Yeah, that's pretty much how I've seen it from a couple of uh, Twitch streamers. They get it. They get rank one for a day, and they kind of like either laxly, laxly give up, or they uh, they just they just can't keep it because it's so hard to because it's so easy to go down to rank two. Uh, is this? I'm assuming this is Freddy. Then I don't understand how Freddy works. I know you can like wake yourself up by like d like sabotaging gens on purpose, but. Nope. Get a nope out of that one. It's too early. Is someone touching bones near me? Or was that just... Sometimes... Ah, he's following me. Sometimes the sound of the fires on this map uh, sound like bone crackling. I'm also just kind of sprinting for the scratches so that maybe he'll come this way. Yeah, that's very fair. I'm also like kind of impatient like this early in the game because I'm not used to Pro strats. Oblivious. Okay, what does that mean for me? I have to wake myself up. Also, can't Freddy like teleport to generators? Wait, what's going on? Why can't I get in there? There we go. Like, what's the difference between the real world and dream world? What's his limitation on teleporting, though, to the generators? Because I've seen his, like, blood just spew out of a generator, then I'm like, well, screw me, I guess. There's, I think Freddy is the, the killer I know the least about. Uh, I've played against him multiple times and still have no freaking clue what his limitations are. I know run to clock. use blood snares and fake pallets so like if you oh it's just like a like a mock pallet so if you go to try to use it it just doesn't do anything that's actually kind of kind of funny so in the real world oh, okay but he can still hurt you though right in the real world or can he only hurt you in the dream world not even paying attention to behind me. I'm just... Oh, that person did get hooked. It looks like the other teammate's going for him. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Oh, I thought that blood meant he was teleporting in front of me. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't chase very good. I didn't run away. That was, it was bad running for me. He can hurt you in both, and his main power is teleporting to gens. Got it. See, I saw that blood uh, in front of the gens, so I thought he was going to teleport in front of me, but he was still behind me. So I guess that's not the best tell. The only thing I read is that you can, like, wake yourself up by, like, failing certain tasks. Like, gen, gen popping. Hey Jordan, why do you have arthritis in your ring finger and pointer finger? Oh, it's from wiggling away from every killer I've ever played against. I do like the music though, I do like his chase music. I don't know if it's different for every killer. Oh, thank you, but you're gonna trade with me because Freddy's coming. I get was it worth it though? I feel like with only I feel like with only um, a couple of gens done, I feel like it wasn't really worth the trade. I think I can kinda see him near the body. 
I'm gonna try to self heal before going first so I can't give away myself as bad. And then I also don't have to trade. Alright, looks like they got off hook anyways. What is that? He comes out of the gen, so when you see blood, you should run, but sometimes Freddy's fake it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So don't fully commit. Makes sense. Are you hurt? Come here. Come here. I will help you, child. That good old, like, left for dead, let me touch your, your shoulders heal. Went to teleport and just skip people. I guess that makes sense, though. Like, what causes you to go into the dream world, though? Like, it seems to be happening almost randomly. Like, and I can't use this to wake myself up, even though I'm right next to it. So what, do I have to go across the whole map to get that one? I guess I could pop a gen, but I feel like that's not really worth it with so little gens done. Screw it. Come at me, Freddy. We'll help our teammates. Oh, he just got hit. Someone got hit really far away. People off to Oh, okay, so it just as soon as you like wake yourself up, the timer just starts until you get um infected again. Am I supposed to be at a certain spot? This is really well hidden. Cool. Seems good. You see the player's names, you can see a timer slowly going up. Oh, the bottom left. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, that makes sense. Ah, oh, that's a cross map. I feel like this Freddy is really good about um, spreading the love in this uh, this map, at least like going from one area to the other, because we only have one gen down. And there's been a few hooks. But it seems like the teammates really want to do some trading um, by getting off hooks. I feel like we need to focus more on gens. If we keep like party healing and helping off hooks, it's just making it more time for Freddy to get around. following me again. Wait, that was all the way over there. Is his terror radius just ridiculously, like, large? Because it sounds... Okay, that sounds like he's right, right next to me. Okay, so I'm asleep yet again. So, uh, Freddy is a really decent killer if you know how to use it, utilize his ability. Yeah, the ability to, to teleport sounds really nice. Oh, look at that. Some team gems. Yeah, I feel like the ability to teleport is really nice. And, like, fake pallets? I haven't seen it yet, but that sounds awesome. Like, that's one of those things that even as a survivor, I feel like that's just, like, such a cool concept. Like, I don't find that to be unfair. I find that to be funny. Alright, let's try to save this dude. They're struggling for their lives, and I appreciate it. Nope. Yep, we're gonna actually... I'll take the hit for you. There we go. I decided to take the hit for the dude because I think that dude's been hooked twice. I probably have too, so who knows. No way. Why is everyone trading so much? It's hilarious. I don't think I have enough to fully heal myself, so I don't know if I want to use the mech. Oh my golly gee! I did not know he was up there. Good for him. That's gonna be- yeah, we really don't have many gens done. You should try to get the perk borrow time. I don't know much about that. Isn't that the one where like it's easier to unhook somebody or not detect it while hooking someone? I don't know how that one works, and I don't know how to get that one. Is that like located on a, a specific character? Because I've heard that that term used a lot. At least that perk used a lot on other uh, streamers.
So I lost whatever, blah blah blah. Get some level ups, why not? So rank 10 killer, rank 10 survivor, rank 7 survivor, and rank 13 survivor. I'm clearly the superior player on that one. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> rank 18. That's awesome. So if a killer is standing around the hook and you unhook someone and the killer hits a survivor, you just unhooked it, won't knock them down again. And you'd have to level up Bill. That's actually a really cool perk. Okay, so it would be... I could just run off and if they hit the person I unhook, they wouldn't get downed immediately again. Is what I'm trying to understand from that. And you'd have to level up Bill. Okay. You know what? We can try out Bill. I don't have anything for him. I think he's a free character, right? Difficulty hard. But I do like that perk, and I've heard it a lot. But I see a lot of player, uh, players play Bill, and like, pretty, pretty toxic. <laughs> but I, I probably shouldn't judge based off of past experiences. So what's the deal with Bill? He starts with three perks. Uh, let's see. See the aura of hatch within 24 meter range. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. They gain the endurance status effect for 15 seconds. Don't know what the endurance status is. Good old Bill from Left 4 Dead. Oh, yeah. So great. I heard that Left 4 Dead... I know this is off topic, but I heard that Left 4 Dead got an, an, an unofficial official update because the creators let fans make a an update after their last update was in like 2012 or some crap like that. I don't know how true that is, but I've heard I've heard that. Let's see, uh, 15 seconds. Any damage taken during that time would be put to the unhooked survivor. Would put the unhooked survivor into dying state. Okay, so that's what that. Okay, so this is borrow time. Survivor takes any damage while affected. If they, uh, blah, 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 blah. cool. Past battles have taught you a thing or two about survival. Blah blah blah. Grants the ability to fully recover from the dying state once per trial. Increases dying rec- What? Oh my gosh, Bill, you are nasty. What makes him hard to play if he has such great perks? What is that? Why have I not known this before? That is crazy. I mean, I don't have anything for him. The question is, what one do I put on first? Do I want to do Borrow Time? Or do I go for something like... I don't think I need to know the hatch. I think the audio cue is enough. Oh, you're pretty sure he's loud? That would make sense. Bill doesn't shut up. He's got his old war stories to talk about or whatever. So I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up to you guys. Which one should I put on for the perk? Should I do um, Unbreakable so that I can recover once per game with a 25% speed recovery? Or do I do Borrow Time for the help? Borrow Time? I feel like that's probably a pretty good perk. All right, and we don't have any add-ons or anything, so we're gonna go in pretty dry on this next one. So let's ready up, because sometimes the lobbies have been taking a while. Unbreakable is only good if you they leave you on the ground. Right, right, okay, okay. So the, the dying state is basically when you're crawling away. Because I know you can fill up the meter like 90% of the way when you're down, but you have to have someone pick you up at that point anyways. But it's like, it's rare to be on the ground for that long. You get higher ranks because lower rank killers usually hook you ASAP. Yeah, I've noticed that the higher ranks um, tend to try to put the pressure on so the generators don't get done. And rather than hook, because you can just like unhook and heal very easily in high ranks. But um, they never try to slug survivors. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. At least from, like, the, the little bit that I've watched recently. Like, my biggest problem when I play killer a lot of the times is, at least for low rank, is I don't chase enough to get the hooks. They'll just heal each other by the time I find them again. Um, but I know that's, that's good for a lower rank, but not good for hires to, like, tunnel one person run all the way to the hook, hook them, try to find the next person. I guess it all depends on how the, the match is going. Oh, sorry, I got like a hangnail. <laughs> I 
So it looks like I'll try to main some, uh, main some Bill for a while. I didn't know his, is, is his real name William Overbeck? Is that like canon? <laughs> you would assume so. They usually do their, do their homework. I haven't played Left 4 Dead in so long. Doesn't he canonically die, though, in Left 4 Dead 2? Don't they, like, do this whole thing where, like, he gets stuck helping everybody get to the bridge, but, like, sacrifices himself or something? And they kill off one of the, the cooler characters of the series? Everybody lost their shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Bill. Let's be honest. He had, like, training... And he was old. Bill was the OG. He was he was OG. I just remember so many people making fun of him for his old like war stories and stuff. But like to be honest, he was one of the older characters. I know that sounds kind of morbid, but like if any of them had to go, I guess make it the older person who's lived the full life. That sounds so morbid though to think about. <laughs> like it shouldn't probably be any of them. <laughs> Makes sense. It's like voting someone off the island. It's like, who do we eat first? <laughs> like, that's so terrible. All right, we're stuck on an island with six people. Can't find food. <laughs> who are we voting off first? I played the first one a little bit. I played the second one a lot. Uh, but I didn't play the DLCs because back when I had Xbox 360, uh, that's what I played it on. I actually didn't um, have any online. I, I had, like, parents that lived in the Stone Age and, like, like thought, like, internet was basically the devil. Left 4 Dead is why you bought an Xbox? That's fair. That's actually very fair. I know the Steam community for Left 4 Dead, though, for PC has a lot of mods. I keep messing... I have a, um, I have a buddy who's really into Left 4 Dead, like, ridiculously into Left 4 Dead, like, knows all the lore, knows how the mechanic works, knows how the AI works, like, everything about this game. And I constantly tease him about Left 4 Dead 3 confirmed, and he gets so mad, and, like, at this point, he's just completely given up hope. He's just like, it's not gonna happen, they confirmed it's not gonna happen, blah, blah, blah. And then I heard about this update, so I'm like, Left 4 Dead 3 confirmed? He got so pissed. Hilarious. He's a good guy, though. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's never going to happen for multiple reasons. Which, at least they were nice enough... At least they were nice enough, you know, to, like, allow the community to try to officially make DLC. Sorry for... Back for blood, though. I actually don't know what that is. I'm uneducated. Please educate me. Unless that's the title, it's the spiritual successor. Is it an upcoming game that's the spiritual successor? Or is it already out? I actually haven't heard news. Oh, okay, so it's a up and coming game. Is it from a triple A developer or is it like a independent uh, team making it? If you know that, it's a game being made by the same sti Oh, even better. The question is, is it the full is it the full team or is it just the studio? That's where it kinda like who's the director and blah 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 kinda like changes things. Also, I'm pretty sure my team is gonna be so pissed at like a level like a level zero bill with no items being brought in. So this should be good. But that's really cool. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh because I didn't hear anything about that. I'll have to tell my buddy, I'm sure he already knows it. Is there a release time? This bill is... <laughs> That's funny. Um, is there a release date or like a demo or any sort of material release? Or is it just kind of like an idea at this point, like a concept? It's just been teased a bit. Gotcha. Well, hopefully that gets off the ground. If there's like um, What do you call it? When you, like, donate money to the project, I can't even think. Brain no work this well. <laughs> Me caveman dumb. Oh, what is it called? That's so... Ooh, actually, let's get an item. 
Go fund me, thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Absolutely carrying me through this Twitch stream. <laughs> That's awesome. Freaking GoFundMe. Couldn't think of the the name of GoFundMe. Easy carry, easy carry. GG, easy game. Alright, let's be loud for a little bit. That's awesome. GG, easy carry. That's awesome. I think I've mentioned this multiple times on the game. I am uh, not the smartest one when I start playing. It's really hard for me to focus on multiple concepts right now because I'm just not used to uh, holding up conversations while playing unless it's like a first person shooter or something easy like that. So bear with me if simple concepts of life like breathing become difficult. But I appreciate I appreciate the support from you guys. <laughs> Is it exhale first and then inhale? Or do I do them at the same time? Uh-oh. Time to go. I just don't understand. I haven't eaten in weeks because I just I don't understand how to open up like canned food even. It's ridiculous. But I know how to throw matches with Bill. Alright, this person... Where's that hook? It's pretty far away. I guess I'll try to do this. Good god, Henry, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. Go save the guy. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Don't worry. Bill is on the way. Oh, that's right. I have fucking spare, uh, spare time or whatever it is. Might as well use it. That's what you only perk is good for. Yeah, I know, right? Once again, thanks for reminding me. Oh, I wanna, I wanna, wanna cleanse that totem. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I think we just crossed into each other. Ooh. That was a mistake. <laughs> that was a major mistake. We, <laughs> we just zigzagged into each other. That's mainly my fault, though, because I wasn't looking behind me to see where he actually was. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know what the... Uh, what are the... Um, what's the point higher ranks of that one, though? Is it just time-based? Also, that totem right there is killing me. It's the only time in a long time that I've seen an actual totem to cleanse. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you bastard. I love you. I'm gonna steal the totem from me. That's okay. I think it increases the time. That would make sense. Oh my god, it just passed by me. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. We're gonna self heal him. We're gonna be selfish build tonight. Yeah, I was talking about the perk. Um, Cause like I know there's ranks for every perk and they just kind of increase the stats of them or the time duration. Also, I don't know much, so you're going to have to correct me on this. I've heard a lot of people use a perk called Dead Hard, but it's really annoying. It kind of just like gives you a boost of speed walking for a little bit, or running. But I, I do not know much about it. I heard that's a good perk as well. Oh man, another person down. It is Leatherface, though. I, I don't think I've ever played a good game against Leatherface. And I ran towards him again. Pro strats. Ooh. Oh man, he goes so far. He goes so far when he does his attack. That's crazy. Melee used to dash past a killer or dodge a hitter or reach a pallet or window before the killer hits you. Gotcha. I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, though. But I've heard that, um... I've heard from a killer's perspective that that's really annoying and that it, like, it's a little too good. But I don't know, because I don't kill her main. Oh yeah, we got, we got some... I personally don't use it. That's fair. Dead Heart is decent, says, uh... 
before the fever. I guess it's a, it's not much of a toss up as much as it's like depending on how you play. Like I feel like as someone who doesn't play Survivor, well, doesn't play the game a lot, maybe she want to make sure you stay real close to serve is not going to be open. Let me get hard for the chance up. Oh, okay. So kind of like try to like circle around things really quickly. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Pro strats. Hey, do you want to heal me? I think. Oh, do you? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's try to... That terror radius is so loud. I still need to learn how to look behind myself. I didn't look at the controls. My beautiful memory kicking in again. Nope, don't do it. You don't have to... Do oh my gosh. <laughs> he just like... Oh, he hammered me. Damn. I thought he was going to do his charge up, but I was already hit, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, that's GG for that one. That's okay. But yeah, I feel like Dead Hard wouldn't really work for me as a player, because I'm not educated enough to know the timings of uh, certain swings. Almost hugged the surface because if he changes on the surface, it stops. So it like bumps off of things and completely stalls him out if he hits things. Alright, that makes sense. Because I know it's got a long wind up, but it looks like it just goes for. The dash is so far. To look behind you in a chase to know when to use it. That's true, too. I should. You know what? Actually, let me look at the, the controls. <laughs> that golden. Whatever this is. Unhooking, I guess. That goes out to you guys for telling me to unhook. Let's see. Man, I'm getting in all these matches with high ranks. Not that the high ranks matter, but I feel like I'm just getting, like. I guess RNG screwed in a way. But I guess it makes me better if I play against high level players and high rank players. All right, so let's continue. Let's let's look at the controls real quick because I need to know how to look behind myself. I have um, one of the mouses that, are, um, that have the buttons on the side. So I have crouch and I think sprint on those ones, but I can add you on Discord if you have any other questions. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a good night uh, before uh, before the fever. I appreciate all your help and advice. So let's look at the controls real quick before I forget. Controls, yes. How to look behind. <laughs> well, okay. Run, crouch, use item, drop item, pick up. Uh, action, secondary action, hook. Where is it? Aim, turn left, turn right, look up, look down. Okay. Oh, gestures. I didn't even know those were there. Where am I? Am I, am I dumb? Am I dumb? Can someone point this out? <laughs> all right. Move, that's all movement. Use item, pick up item, interact, drop item, action, secondary action, skill check, hook, struggle, activate ability. Aim, aim, look, mouse movement, yeah. Turn right, turn left, look up, look down. Seems good. How do I look behind? Oh, is there like another page of... That's killer controls. I want survivor controls. But I already had it. I would tell you, but I use a controller. Yeah, I know. That's that's what I'm kind of thinking right now is like, man. One of those times where I kind of wish I was back at controller just for ease. Uh, maybe just look with your mouth. Yeah, at that point, yeah, probably just look with my mouth. Oh, well. Um, how far are we into the stream? Two hours, that's not bad. I told myself I'd play a little bit because I might not be able to play on the night. Um, so I figured I'd just sandbag some sandbag some uh, videos and some hours. Plus, I've been really enjoying this game, and I'm not probably going to sleep for a while anyways. It's like... Sandbag a couple of yeah, that's that's pretty much the the goal um, cuz it's like one in the morning here on the 8th And my D&D &D session is so late at night that I don't know I usually stream at this time So if I sandbag sometimes oh Yeah, 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 um, I live um, in uh, New York um, in the United States So I kind of, oh, there you go. Dev, you live there all the time or is that kind of, is that kind of new? I haven't really left actually my state. 
I, um, as someone who really wants to travel, I've just either been working all the time or, like, broke. So I don't tend to travel as much. So there's that. Pennsylvania is a nice place to live, I guess. I guess. I guess it depends on what you're looking for. I don't know much about Pennsylvania. Half your life, there you go. I'm assuming later half at this point, yeah. What makes you stay if it's alright, I guess? I uh, lived in West Virginia for the other half. I lived in Virginia for like half a year um, when I was younger, so I, I couldn't appreciate or tell you anything about um, Virginia or North Carolina, stuff like that. Like, I, I bounced around when I was a kid, but like, I don't count it as travel because I was so young that I, I couldn't even tell you where I was going, when I was going, how long I was there for no memory of it. Born in PA, lived in PA for 10 years, moved to West Virginia, lived there for 12 years, moved back to PA for four. I'm 26, by the way. Oh, okay, so you're, you're not that much older than me, but lived there for 12 years. So you started in PA, went to WA, or sorry, WV, and then went back to PA for the last few years. Is it family that makes you go back, or is it just familiarity at that point? That's the real question. Also, you obviously don't have to answer any questions if you don't feel like it. It is obviously public chat, so I don't want to, like, grill anybody for questions. I just like chatting. I have, like, um, only a few followers, but they're from, like, all over the place now. Like, I think one of them's from, like, Austria or something. Something ridiculous. Some European place, I think. I'm not sure. At least they made it sound like that. <laughs> Man, I'm not... Should I go to Killer, though? I'm having trouble getting into a lobby as Survivor. Short West Virginia holds painful memories, so I just returned back to where my family is from. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, though, but I'm glad you could get away from it. At least at that point, you know? No need to stay somewhere where you you don't want to be there all the time, either based off of, like, not enjoying the way it is or, like, also having bad experiences there. It's better to get out. Oh, well, there's a... Made my decision for me. We can keep playing Survivor. Farmers Only... I'm sorry. I love to look at the names um, of the people, and I think FarmersOnly.com is beautiful. Was that... I do miss the scenery, though. Yeah, it's one of those things where... Uh, I don't remember much of it, but like everybody that I know that's come from those areas always says like it's just beautiful So I guess that is one thing that could be missed out on is just like those locations and geography Man, I guess I'll ready up Did I not put any blood points in the bill? Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Let's let's get random crap real quick 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 Apparently I need a main bill to get that borrowed time that is what I'm being told. So let's let's at least put some, put some investment into him. All right. Plus, I guess technically you could play other players and then just invest the blood points into Bill. Because that's kind of that's kind of how that works, based on blood points. Which I think is really nice because if you're like really bad at a character but you want a perk, you can just invest it to a character you never play. All right. Let's get back into the survivor mindset. Also, if I'm looking off to, like, the side for a while, it's because I got cats, um, and they tend to, like, roam around at this point. After this game, don't ready up right away. I will try to remember that as best as I can. I will definitely try. Uh, you will probably have to remind me near the end. <laughs> There's a code you can enter for 100k free blood points. Oh, really? It's not like a pyramid scheme. I'm not going to get, like, giant Trojan virus. Please enter your mom's credit card for 100,000 free blood points. Also, why is this person injured? 
Is that a perk to start off like that? Totally baby. <laughs> Seems fair. You uh, lulled me in with uh, information about yourself and uh, watching the stream just to bait me into a Trojan, a Trojan virus. For the new Gummy Bear album, please text your credit card. Or however that meme works. Yeah, I'm totally, it's called the, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess I could like put that all into Bill real quick, give me an advantage with him. That's really funny though. Oh, come on, we can do it, boys. We're gonna sacrifice our, ourselves for this. I hate you. <laughs> you know what? You deserve to get hit. <laughs> Alright. Also, can you also explain to me why that person started out in injured? They have a plus sign. Does that mean I can't heal them? It's got like an extra plus sign. You don't know I'm here? Oh, oh wait. He ran right by. Oh, so lucky. I forget that they uh, look in... It's a perk and yeah, you can't heal them. Oh, that sucks. They better have a really great benefit to that then. Also, I always forget the killers look in first person as I play survivor. So it's easier for them to like miss you if they're going quick. Yeah, this person's in is, is this the person I can't heal though? It's hard to tell. Oh, they're hooking in basement too. What a jerk. Can I not heal this person? Is this the per- Oh, I can't. Come here. Well, not if you're gonna be a dick about it. It looks like they're still in Killer Shack and they're chasing someone. I think they unhooked? Oh no, they didn't. Well, alright, there goes that party. I actually really like the doctor. Uh, if I was gonna buy a character, like a killer, it would definitely be the doctor. I really like how he plays, from what I've seen. Do it. Damn it. Man, Bill got that sprint when he gets hit, though. He gets, he gets crazy. Why are there no pallets? Where are the pallets? So I can throw some crap. Oh, I didn't know a teammate was working on that. I guess that's pretty brave of them. Oh, they already got unhooked. I am not paying attention at all. Let's go, let's go team. Wow, this team loves to mess up these uh, gems and set it back when they're close. Don't worry, we will all sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. Nope, not worth it. I thought the pickup was a lot quicker, but you have to kind of like heal it. Pallet? Pallet would be nice. Pallet? I love pallets. Oh, I got stuck. Pallet? I don't use pallets enough, but now I can't find them. I guess I'll just kind of be loud and try to distract him over here or go for another gen. Oh my god, Bill is loud. He's got like a weird whine to him. It's like a like a weird like gas like he's been punctured through the, like the lungs and he's filling up with blood or something. Just, ooh. Oh, we got two people down too. That's not good. But like they're both down near the killer shack, which is no bueno. I guess I'll try to get at least another gem done. A nice time getting some points. Okay. You're not real. Go away. Oh, that person got shocked over there.
I think you can like snap yourself out of that one though. I think I did that the other day. Unless I'm thinking of a different killer. That person is gonna really screw things up for me. I'm gonna try to help this person who's crawling. I'm assuming they fixed themselves enough. I was gonna say, please tell me you've at least gotten yourself to roughly 90. I don't think I can make it to this dude unless they are the best goddamn clicker in the world. But I have to at least try. So I picked up that person, got a gen done. Gonna unhook that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, that was a scream. Don't follow me. You're bad news. I guess let's keep using that, uh... No. That's okay. Just so much screaming. The words of Zoe from Left 4 Dead, this is not going well. Uh, I would agree. I would, this is not going well. <laughs> I would agree. I mean, it's going okay. Like, it definitely could be worse. We could be bodied by now. I just feel like the... As much as I don't want to blame the other guys, they're... They've been, like, really, like, just screwing up on the, uh, the gens at the last second. Which I'm sure I'll mess up in a few seconds anyways. Oh my god, they are terrified. I wonder why I'm not getting the screams, though. Is that just from healing and doing tasks? Oh, there's my bad. I didn't know the circle could go backwards. Oh, you yeah, definitely better than the, definitely better than the last game. I also don't have a way to heal myself, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't know how the um, the scare scream thing works. God, he is coughing up a lung. I just wanna I just wanna heal him just so he's not being annoying. He makes people scream when he hits them with electric shock. Okay, okay. So is it kind of like a build-up meter thing? Like the more you get hit, the more you're just terrified of absolutely everything that exists? Let's get some blood points before... Also, if he hits you too many times with it, you scream until you snap. Oh, okay, okay. Seems fair. I know that it's, I'm not cleansing anything here, but... Oh, another gen got done. Good for them. People are getting hit, though. Yeah, I think if I was going to get a killer, especially on the sales, I would definitely go for him. I don't see him played enough, and I really like his setup. Alright, looks like he downed a teammate. That's fake. You're fake news. Get out of here. You're not real. I'm not scared of you anymore. No, I forgot that I was already hit. I shouldn't have gone in for that. As I'm complaining about him talking the whole time. I like completely forgot that I was injured. You're gonna have to work for it, Doc. <laughs> what a save, what a save. My God, that was an amazing locker hit. That was amazing. Am I really being chased? I don't think I am. I could not tell you. I feel like he would have hit me by now. Well, I guess if he is, I'll take him really far away. Oh, he's not. That's hilarious. I love that. That is actually really great. I didn't know you could do that either. I see the real one coming. Oh, my God. I'm, I saw him. I got distracted. That is hilarious. I love this red red chase thing. That is so cool. Also, this has been, um, I guess I'll take him away from there. This has been one of the, um, oh no, 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 don't bring him this way. This has been one of more of the, your auto mod is bullying me. Auto mod. 
I actually don't know what that means. You'll have to explain on that one. Oh, I thought I had that. Chase. Oh, is checking my messages. Oh, uh, I could probably. Uh, I think I changed it to um to like try to moderate like, weird things, but it sure went because you're in. Oh my God, wasn't paying attention. That's fine. He can have it. It says the automat is checking my message. I could. I could definitely try to lower it. I know. He did definitely make me insane. I know that when I was doing it originally, I've heard that you kind of want to lower your, um, your, like, censoring because it over-censors things a lot. So I could, I'll try to remember to undo that, or at least lower it. I just didn't want, like, derogatory terms being used by, like, trolls and chat. That was kind of my only big concern when I first made the Twitch. So I apologize if the auto mod is bullying you. I completely forgot about that. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, these people are so nice. So nice. Would you like to heal me? You are amazing. Insane? I I mean, I guess that would kind of make sense. I think I have it set on, like, medium? Or whatever the ruling is on that? Oh my gosh. Screw it. If you're gonna chase me, you better chase me towards door. <laughs> Please kill me. I guess that would make sense. Um, I'll definitely have to try to fix that. That's funny. I apologize for you not being able to have free speech. Am I dead? I think that's dead hook right now. I'd rather have the team at this point just leave. But, like, they're really close to the exit gate, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Time to mash it. Yeah, right? I keep saying I'm gonna change it from spacebar, because it always hurts my hand to use spacebar. I always slip, and then I don't change it, and I feel like an ass every time. That, or I'm just gonna have, like, wrists and tendons of steel. It's time for me to get... Dang it, I messed that up real bad. I want him to kill me at this point because I keep screwing up and I definitely deserve to not live this long in this game. As much as there were some really good plays. Oh, there he is. Come at me. I think that's real. I'm going to assume that one's real. Yep. <laughs> I can't even be mad. This was a relatively, like, fair matched game. At least from what it looks like. Come on, end it. Stick me on that beautiful hook one more time. Thank you. I'll, I'll give it to that. Teammates definitely uh, saved each other a lot. And did focus on gents in the meantime, too. So definitely an okay team I got. With the randos. And I did remember I'm not supposed to ready up after this right away. Match results sacrificed. Sounds great. All I care about are those blood points. Ooh, three golds. It's spicy. And then click store. Okay, okay. Um. Oh yeah, so rank 20 killer and then kind of like higher ranked other players, it seems fair. Itchy. Uh, da -da -da -da. Go to store? Let me and then click store. Okay. I'm at the store. Now what? Be like a, be like one of those like, 
It was like air, um, airfield like guys that talk and like, well, you can land this. Go to featured. Okay. Tuck the plane down. Go to featured. Okay. Add featured. Redeem code, I'm assuming. All right. Sounds good. Is this like Seymour Butts or something like that? Type. <laughs> All right. That doesn't, that doesn't seem too bad. Happy 1001. This code is invalid. Which is okay. You typed it wrong. How did I type it wrong? H A P P Y 1001. Oh, okay. What what did I do wrong? I did I didn't even pay attention. Did I put a space or did I like miss misspell happy or some crap? That's okay. But thanks for the uh one too many pe yeah, I assume that happened. Yep. My bad. But I appreciate that. That's awesome. That's a lot of blood points. We'll use those up real quick. Should I just invest them into um into Bill then to try to level them up to get the universal borrowed time? Is that the is that the pro strat right there? Might as well. Yeah, sounds about right. Plus, if I'm going to be playing Bill a lot and trying to get good with him, I need more perks on the man. Ooh. Alright. Almost at level 5. And, uh, you can see the other path. Oh, that's just uh, the, the level 2 of that original perk. Oh, level 5. Let's keep it going. Boom, boom, boom. So satisfying. Yeah, that really helped a lot. I really appreciate that. Is that like um is that like just a redeemable code from like an event that happened or like what is that from? They do codes every once in a while. Oh okay, gotcha. Am I supposed to like follow Dead by Daylight on Twitter or something like that to get the, the code drops. Yeah. I actually just started a, um, and I told myself I wouldn't say this again on, on stream. I actually just got a Twitter that I hooked up to this account. I've never used Twitter before until like yesterday. And I feel like it's just good to get like random codes from crap and to see what the new news is. So probably won't post much on it, but all right, let's see what we can do with this loadout. Let's see. So the question is, what do I want? I don't think I've seen many of these. When the uh, aura is revealed for five seconds, when the last generator is powered, the killer aura is revealed. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, premonition. Get a auditory warning when looking in the direction of the killer. So it's like spine chill, but like opposite without perks. Oh no, you can add me on Steam. I leave. I really don't care. Um, I try. I know some of my accounts are different. Some accounts. Uh, social media wise under my name and then some are under a little J guy which is basically like my gamer name um, but I really don't care that any of that is like visible or knowledgeable I'd rather have a million friends that I don't play with than to have like like no interaction with people that actually want to have interactions uh, see what's a good perk here I don't think the unbreakable is gonna be meh what is this slippery me three extra escape attempts on the hook what Oh, oh, when you're, tr okay, not how many times you get hooked, but if you're trying to free yourself. The odds of freeing yourself from, that sounds really good. Nice, so it grants three additional speed when repairing, sabotaging, healing, unhooking, cleansing, opening, exit gates, and unlocking while injured. But then again, I feel like resilience is really good, because if it's paired with all the bonuses of, like, um, spine chill later on, like, that's just 5%. Here, actually, let me, um, I'll, I'll do it after. I just don't want to pull my stuff up on stream, and I don't know how the overlay is. But yeah, that sounds really good. The only thing is I don't have spine chill right now. No one left behind. Lightweight. What do I go with? When you rescue a survivor from a hook, gain 100% speed. Oh, I feel like that would be a great... Yeah, resilience and spine chill sound really good. I feel like it's because I have borrowed time, I feel like well, well make it is probably my next best bet until I get some like combo perks going. 
Also, do I have any add-ons? I do. I have this stuff now. Tremendously increase the chance of spawning the hatch in the main building, if it has one. Let's just do that. And then let's... Let's ready up. Am I good to... Am I good to ready up now? No other secret wizard powers you have for the game? <laughs> I really appreciate that, though. That really helps. That's not something I would have ever found out by myself. Here's another code, but it's just a troll. <laughs> in, in what way is it just a troll? Is it a troll because you purposely make it a troll? Go type in the word... <laughs> I'm telling you, if it's not the number 69, if it's not like 69 blood points, I will be, I'll be upsetty. <laughs> Let's see, redeem code, just nice. Oh my god, that's awesome. That is great. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot be upset now. I can only be happy. That meme is great. It sucks, though, because, like, um, I do, this sounds terrible, but, like, I do, like, follow memes pretty heavily and, like, stuff like that and satire. And, like, I don't know how many times if I ever see the number 69, I say nice, and I try to, like, physically stop myself from saying nice out loud. Like, that shouldn't be part of my programming in my brain. It shouldn't be like, ooh, 69, noise. But it does. I should never have to physically restrain myself from being an idiot, but it happens now. C241. Damn, that like, not only has this like stream gone like really well and everything's been chill and everyone's really nice, that, that joke just made my day so hard. That was so great. So now we gotta wait for the, the stream set up, or the, not the stream, the uh, lobby. I'm just glad um, Dead by Daylight servers haven't crashed on me yet. Um, knock on the wood that I don't have near me because like the other night I tried playing I got like 40 minutes in and I was like oh I really want to try to get into this game and play some longer streams because I don't do that on this channel and like it like crashed after like 40 minutes and like a couple of people had just joined on to chat and I was like okay rest in pieces like the only other longer stream I have is um yeah, it really does suck, but, like, it's like Russian roulette with the servers sometimes. As much as I love Dead by Daylight, it really becomes, like, Russian roulette sometimes. Either they're working on it, or it just shuts down, or I have weird connection problems. But, yeah, like, I want to do longer streams, because I do have the time. And, like, the longest stream I have right now is the Resident Evil 7, like, two and a half hour run. But, like, that's only because I wanted to do it in one go. I've been usually keeping my videos around an hour just so, like, if someone doesn't want to fully commit to, like, a four-hour video and keep going back to it in Twitch, I try to keep about an hour. But I feel like longer is the way to go because it gives more time for randoms to hop on during live streams. So we'll see. We got like all this this nice time to chat though. More double edged sword with this this game. More time equals more views. Right, exactly. That's that's the kind of like the thought process. And I feel like more people would rather hop on while it's live than to go look for your videos and watch it later. I feel like that's more of obviously like a YouTube thing, is that they'll follow a person and watch their videos when they can. Even though YouTube has live streaming. Waiting for matches. And yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, a lot of this time, I probably played, like, maybe eight or nine matches tonight of, like, solid matches in this almost three-hour, three-hour stream. But I feel like, especially, I've also been trying to stream at this time, because I feel like with different time zones, like, a lot of the people I watch are from my time zone, and they're usually done, they usually start at, like, six or whatever and end at like 9 and I'm like well I don't sleep at night because my sleep schedule is like completely reversed I need more nocturnal streamers so I also try to stream later yeah 
like it's one of those things where like it's like watching paint dry like it feels longer when you're just sitting here waiting but at least when you're talking it doesn't feel as long I guess see that's kind of my problem too is like my I have I'm not diagnosed with insomnia or anything like that but like I have extreme trouble sleeping especially at like nighttime and so like if I try to sleep people just say oh we'll try to sleep I'll just lay in bed and be like anxious and just stare and being like well if I'm gonna be up I might as well be playing video games or doing some form of entertainment it's like why just lay in the bed doing nothing when you know you're not gonna sleep anyways I have like straight laid in bed trying to sleep forever until I got up for work. I, I, I've definitely I've been there. At my One of my last jobs, I was like a breakfast cook at like this like a little like tiny like cafe mom and pop style shop. And like I'd have to be up for like four in the morning and half the time I would like get home, maybe take like an hour nap midday if I was tired. And then I would be up all night and just being like, well, what's the point in sleeping? When I only have like three more hours, I'm gonna be up anyways. I would just stay up until my next shift. So like some days I would only get like a couple hours of sleep. Yo, right bro? I, I would say that day naps are a lifesaver. It's, and it all depends. Like my, like my significant other is like works early days and then comes home sometimes at night. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna be up all night and they're like asleep by the time I'm like up up. People get so mad, they're like, you sleep in until 12, what's wrong with you? I'm like, well, I'm also up until 6 in the morning half the time anyways. Don't judge me. Don't judge me for my weird sleep schedule. Alright, so we're at... Is this the swamp again? Yeah, backwater swamp. Hey, what's going on? Oh, he didn't see me. <clears throat> Are the generators? So this map, I'm still even like as a survivor, I'm still like 50/50 about this map. It would definitely. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I think the first time I ever played this map, I was playing against um, the pig, and like no idea what the hell was happening. 99% of that game. Oop. Can I run more? Also, the lighting in this particular map is ridiculous. I don't want a bright, sunshiny map, but like, this is pretty dark. I don't know who the killer is. Oops. You don't leave scratches when you walk. That's true. Yeah. I always, I always tend to forget how much those scratches are visible to certain- Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh, that made me jump. That was... <laughs> he was he was staring at me for a while. That's my bad. I wasn't paying attention. And I messed up a generator. I definitely deserved that. <laughs> Found out who the killer was. Whoops. Not a good start, but... It is what it is. They got a generator down, though. I saw the red circle, and I was like, I still didn't remember that that's ghost face, like, circle. I was like, what does that mean? Am I about to die? And I got grabbed. Oh, it's pretty much perfect. Ow. That was rude. I don't see too many people use uh, bait scratches to lockers and then walk away. I guess that is a strat. I always get confused um, as killer though. If you go into a locker, does it show scratches on the locker or if you just brush by it? Um, I guess we could try working on this again. Oh yeah, he's on like the other end of the map. Supposedly. Only when you, oh okay, okay. I feel like, um. On certain maps, that's like really good. Especially like there's that one map 
Um, I think it's based on Stranger Things, uh, where it's like the facility. I feel like that's really good because there's so many corners. Like a ridiculous amount of like small spaced corners that that would be really good on. Yeah, I'm getting so many skill checks. Yeah, and like, that's actually a really, a really good strategy. Uh, cause I feel like when you open up the locker, if these scratches leave the right. Yeah, right? I feel like when you open up that locker, it's such a long animation. It just eats up so much time. So yeah, that's, that's not a bad strategy at all. Another person got hooked across the map. He is up in there. Alrighty. Oh no, that person got unhooked and then downed immediately. That is rough. I don't know where I am. Is there a thing up here? Is there a way to get up here? Am I dumb? I'm probably... Oh, okay. So many times it's really funny when you hear them open up the lock. I could imagine just kind of like giggling to yourself like, hee hee, freaking gotcha. I made you waste your time. Oh, someone broke this damn thing down. I could have swore there was a generator up here. But I don't know enough. Hello. Why why did that go off? That's stupid. That's great. Like, I definitely like messing with the killer. But like only to a certain extent. Like if I know I'm losing the game, sometimes I'll just rush the killer and like teabag in front and stuff like that. But like when it comes to like spamming flashlights and extreme pallet looping to like no extent when you know it's not really doing anything, it's so frustrating. Especially if you get like a good killer shack loop. Oh yeah, I've definitely had games where I try to mess with the killer. What? What is that? What is that? What? What? Is that like another way around? That's cool. Ah. Uh, oh no, they're dead hook anyways. Damn. I also think there's like three generators on that side of the map. So that's really rough actually. Nope. Nope. Screw you. Screw you. I'm being chased. Pallet. Pallet, anybody? Pallet. Yep. <laughs> Not that that did anything. That was. Oh no! This. <laughs> I'm gonna get my comeuppance. Just because I'm. I. I tried to. That was like a really obvious pallet drop. But he got that, like, I can insta-kill you thing. I once played a game where two of my team disconnected, so a friend and I played hide-and-seek for like 20 minutes. That's awesome. Like, as survivors, you were just trying to find each other on the map? <laughs> or were you trying to mess with the killer and, like, get in his face and then run away? No way, is he really still watching me? I mean, you gotta be a good tracker, I guess. I don't wanna sandbag my teammates. Yeah, while avoiding the kill. <laughs> That's awesome. Don't do it. Come at me. I'll try to distract them away from the, uh, the gen. I don't think I'm going to be much help during this match. I'm having too fun screwing around actually at this moment. You'll never kill me. Ooh, random pallet drop. Oh, I went the wrong way. I zigged when I should have zagged. That's fair. 
That's rough. I was playing a game in one of my early um, streams. I was playing as killer, and I had like a team of four, and um, they were not trying to go for uh, any of the gens for like, it was almost like a 45 minute game or something like that. And like, I couldn't find anybody. They were literally just hiding, not working on any gens. It was like one of the longest games of my life. I mean, it was funny at the end of the day, but as a stream, I was like, there's no content here. Like, I was just so bored. I think they were trying to get me to disconnect, like, waste enough time, but they were really good at hiding. There's two other, two other people alive. One's the obsession. Those you guys are no fun. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, you don't want to help me. But I was. <laughs> you guys are no fun. I mean, yeah, th I could imagine that being no fun for him, but I'm sure it was great fun uh, for yourself and your partner. Cause like that's hilarious. I have no way to self heal. try to sacrifice myself for the top. Oh. What are you doing? I mean, I guess that's pretty ballsy. Unless the person has... Oh my gosh, the balls. Is that a dead hook, though? No, 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 you don't see me. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Go, save them. Save them, friend. What a team, what a team. I don't think there's, at this point, any real way for us to win this one. Because I think if I get hooked, I'm insta-dead. And the other person is down. So I literally just have to hit this person once. And I think it's game over. If everybody is down, is it game over? Like, if they're not hooked, but everyone's down, is that GG? Or does he still have to hook everybody? Oh, he has to hook everyone? So, like, if he can't find it, if he can't find any of us, you just sit around for, like, a while. Don't look at me. Don't do it. Damn. Eventually, you'll bleed out on the ground. Oh, okay, so there is, like, a... Oh, I didn't see the, the red bar at the bottom. All right, that makes sense. At least that's fair. That's dead hook, though. So, GG. trying to figure out what I want to do. I might, I might be calling it for the night, just because I got other things to do tomorrow. Yeah, they can't escape through the hatch. I don't, I've only escaped from the hatch twice as like a regular survivor, never as a downed, and I've never seen it happen. But I've been told that that is a thing, which is pretty cool. Let's see this gold, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see, who is I with? Some 14 and 12 rank survivor and a 15 rank killer. Not bad. I don't know any of his abilities. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, I should have I should have typed. Yeah, no, I appreciate you for showing up. I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I appreciate you for staying for so long and chatting with me and teaching me some things. I really appreciate that. Um, and I hope you come again at another time. Toss you a follow on my other account too. Why oh I appreciate that. If you do any um streaming yourself, just let me know. I'll definitely follow that back as well. I have no problem with that. Hugs all around for follows. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream and I appreciate you showing up. And I think there was a friend request I gotta look in Steam as well. So I'll see you all next time and I hope you have a good night.